Hello? Hello? It should work. I feel like all of our streams start exactly that yeah, way. Probably. Hello? Because Can you hear us? No one... No one comes up with a better idea. Yeah. <laughs> Always starts out with some sweet love on ASMR. What, what is ASMR? I, I can maybe... You gotta get closer to the mic. That's some pencil. Okay, mm. let's let's turn this thing on, shall we? People, yeah. people are saying hi. They, I guess they want to see what we have, uh, what's happening here. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm, I'm you, censored. You gotta, I'm censored. <laughs> you gotta duck a little bit. Yeah, you're obstructed and I'm in the dark, so we both lose. Yeah. But the audience wins. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Hi, hey. buddy. It's been a long time, as yeah. always, as we always say in those things. It's been quite a while. Um, but yeah, I've been working on some stuff. <laughs> and yeah. But this time, uh, I actually know what I'm going to do. Ooh. Um, which, for a change. <laughs> yeah, for a change. Should make it hopefully a bit easier or quicker because I know what I'm aiming for since I have the, the finished piece already there. And um, I hope this will make it more easy for me to... Easier. Easier. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> for me to explain what I'm doing at that moment. Um, yeah, I, I was wondering before we started the stream, what should I do first? Like, uh, for the beginning, okay. I... Uh, could do the skin since skin is usually the, probably the most exciting part and we have lots of faces to color here but i could also start with um alphonse and uh, show you a bit the metallic effect i guess that's a good question for our audience what should we start with can't do a poll really but i'll just have a look at the chat and also lao now has the chat next to him yeah i can. can't promise you that he will always look in there but <coughs> at least it's there now um, yeah, first of all, I can uh, at least tell like this is ordinary uh, copy paper, like bureau paper, <laughs> office paper, <laughs> office paper, um, the fell bureau of paper. Yeah, uh, like it's not marker paper, uh, and you will notice that um, because of the properties um, that copy paper has uh, compared to copy paper because um, marker paper is coded and <laughs> I said that a few times but not sure if everyone can mm -hmm. recall that uh, marker paper has a, a code that prevents first the color from bleeding through but also that in a way prevents the color mm -hmm. from going into the paper which then leads to difficulties if you want to layer at least in my experience. Most people are saying skin Skin. Fine. All right. I, I, I probably start with Add skin then. to be specific. <laughs> somebody just said, but yeah, skin. Skin. All right. Um, all right. First, mm -hmm. uh, the the markers that you should have in hand when coloring skin, um, or like lighter skin, uh, is the the blender marker. Um, when I first started with markers, I had no idea what this is used for. But uh, in a way, if you get into watercolors, you can in a way um, at some point tell what you can use that for and I'm going to start again like the the, the difficult the most difficult part for me I'll show the pen and close up uh, the, the pen yeah ah, all right the uh, it's the colorless blender mm -hmm. and this one is eggshell ah. uh, you can also start with uh, skin white which is this one um, but I like to start very light, so I have more options um, to to go darker in the end because you can't go lighter with markers. <clears throat> but yeah, the the most difficult part is usually to figure out how that you want the the shadows to appear. And since we have done that, I can just start mm -hmm. right away. Just I'll real quick, somebody asks again, like, it, but is it some kind of special copy paper? Really, just like regular eighty grams it's paper? Regular. 80 grams paper. It's yeah. very thin. Oh, wait, I got the package right here. Yeah. Nine. Okay, it's 90 grams. It's 90 grams. It's just this. Yeah. We, we just grabbed it uh, very spontaneously. I don't even it's know staples. We, I staples, think. yeah, we were at staples. But, um, Shout out to staples. Yeah. 
since like the, 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 the difference shouldn't be that uh, big. If you have a uh, heavier paper, it can be a bit more difficult to, to paint on it uh, since it sucks out more color and then you have not that much time since the color uh, won't be wet that long. All okay, right. here we go. First stroke. So, since we want to have a, a smooth gradient or very... And I'm going to um, yeah? make a zoom in. Well, I can... Just keep going, just keep going. I'm going to add a second camera and just oh, try to okay. zoom in. The same way we... we um, so, I just apply a coat of the blender. Um, which I probably have to refill later, but this should be enough for now. And... Um, this helps a bit the color uh, to, that the color can spread, um, yeah, more or less easier. And every once in a while, you can just use the blender and go back to um, make some areas lighter a bit. So, okay, here we go. Okay. Now people can see it a bit better. I just wonder like if it's something that, that shines through, but won't the markers bleed through the copy paper? Yeah, it will. That's why I have some um, papers lying uh, underneath it. <laughs> will the uh, will the live stream stay up later? Yes, as always, unless there's something we really need to edit out. Uh, it will be public right after the fact. Um, usually it's like uh, it takes a while for YouTube to process all of it so it might not it, appear it, directly yeah it might like there might be an hour missing at the front or at the back so don't worry about that um, but yeah it will probably stay on drawing yeah. like a sir asks are you going to do the whole motive depends on how how quick I am this <laughs> time I mean I think I'm quicker than I would now if I would do it like freestyle or blind <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, not really know what what I would uh, want to do and I would need to change some things at certain par uh, points but um, yeah you know this uh, we will see like I want to definitely do like the, the metal effect stuff let me see if I can improve okay so I can sharpen the image a little bit so we, we really got to just work with a regular old consumer webcam here I'm sorry for the <laughs> image quality when we zoom in I sharpened it a little bit that also adds to some artifacts but I hope you can all see what he's what he's doing there um, as always like let us know if there are like problems with the image or with the uh, sound yeah. or something so um, if you use the blender make sure that those spots here um, get blended all the way through. It's like with watercolors, as soon as you have like a dry edge, it will show up. So if you need to, um, yeah, if you want to push something away, I can show that uh, what I mean very after that, um, then make sure to, to go all in again, because uh, otherwise you will have like very sharp edges and it won't look that soft anymore. What are your favorite, favorite colors to work with? Um, regarding what uh, matter? <laughs> Let's say Copic. Just what are the, your fav uh, favorite colors? I, I, colors? I love um, Pale Grape and, and Heath or Health. I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I can just like later show it in the camera. Um, and in general, like very violet tones, like baby blossom is a nice tone. First thing I thought you said violent tones. <laughs> no, no, violet. So as always, um, what we like to do here on the stream, for everybody whose uh, first stream this is, uh, hello. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> um, so you're not too confused. So this guy who's painting right now is Laovan. And I'm um, Ecolox. I, I just sit here, I run the technology. You run technology. the technology. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you're also responsible for the music. Right, and I do that. And what you can do during the stream is... Um, wait a second, this. Okay. Um, what you can also do during the stream is send in your own art. Um, we have got a uh, some, some guidelines. 
underneath the, the video box. I mean, uh, the chat should be like right next to the video or if you're on mobile, you get the chat open underneath the video. If you close the chat for a second, underneath the video, there's a video description as always. There you can find all the things you can do to send in your art and we will show it on stream. Um, the long and short of it is there's a, uh, there's a theme. The theme today is fan art. Send in your, your favorite fan art that you've finished either very very recently or maybe you're working on something right now maybe due to the stream you feel inspired to work on something um, just send that in uh, use the appropriate hashtags either on Twitter or on Instagram if you're on Instagram make sure your profile isn't set to private because then we can't see it um, or just put it in our, shove it in our discord channel uh, on our Discord server. The link is also in the video description. You can find everything there. The video description also, not just on the live streams, also on his videos are typically chock full of uh, useful information. So it's always great to uh, inform people that, hey, have a look there. It's, it's, it's good stuff. We don't just use that to <laughs> rank high on the algorithm. <laughs> Echo is also the one with the sexual innuendos. Now, come on, the chat is usually worse than me when it comes to that. <laughs> But then again, I'm merely one person, so maybe that kind of weighs each other up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your tips for starting to draw manga? Um, working a lot with references. So I started uh, with copying, uh, <laughs> sometimes even full manga pages, but I uh, just like, uh, skip through the manga I loved the most at the time and just search for the pictures I loved the most and um, then I would just copy them and trying to get the uh, proportions right because that's what I think is the most difficult part about manga work. It's um, since you have lines and not uh, shades at least with the black and white versions mm -hmm. uh, you have to figure out like where to put that line in, in uh, proportion to the other ones and yeah, that's probably I think one of the hardest parts about it but when you got the proportions right when you can eventually see mistakes uh, and that comes with time uh, then you are also or at least I believe that uh, very able to work on more realistic stuff uh, I mean I started with manga work and uh, since my mother always told me like not to get stuck with uh, for just one thing even uh, especially if I want to do something with it later, then I should try and do more, yeah, diverse stuff. And that's how I got into more realistic art. Uh, yes, I just changed the saturation a little bit. I, I felt like it was blowing the thing up way too much. My turn. Uh, now it comes a little bit closer. Yeah, it's closer to yeah, it. Yeah, it's a lot closer now. Is it okay to send in old art as well? Usually we just say something that you finished very recently or you're working on right now because otherwise... Um, yeah, we would get imagine, flooded. You gotta imagine like 500 people send in everything they've done in the last few years. Like we, we could never get through all of them. So we gotta limit it some way. But you can always work on something right now. We accept work in progress. The hashtag is in the description and it's Lao Van Fan Art. Got some new updates about your original manga? <laughs> <laughs> That's the the laugh tells tells you everything. Yeah. You need to know. Um, not at the moment. Like I was spending some time on it uh, a week ago, and then I started this picture. And uh, as you can see, it's a bit more. Um, what is it? A bit more elaborate. Yeah. Um, and so this took days and days, and then. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't really spend time on, on the manga drawing. And right now, like, I'm a bit busy, uh, busy with some some uh, <laughs> jobs. Mm -hmm. um, so a bit more commercial work and uh, that also needs some time. But I am positive that, uh, like, in one or two weeks I can finally start working on it again and believe me i'm just as eager to see <laughs> see it progress but yeah got, got some jobs to do um it just happens 
So again, uh, the 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 paper he's using is just regular copy paper, like office paper. Nothing, yeah. nothing fancy, nothing special at it's all. Ninety grams. Paper. That's also like the thing that I really, really can recommend, um, because <clears throat> if you want to re uh, create results like this, um, in essence, you have to layer a whole lot of color. Uh, so the thing is with ordinary marker paper or, or like bicopic uh, themselves you have the problem that the color just lies flat around so I, I couldn't do stuff like using the, the blender uh, and, and going like this all over again without just dragging all the colors off the paper I mean I can now just wet the paper <laughs> and uh, yeah fix some certain parts like I don't know, adding more shade or um, anything you want to correct. And that's with marker paper, it's very, very difficult. Marker paper is more if you have like a cell shading style, that, that might work. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you just have to do like very uh, light transitions, mm -hmm. um, that, that's what marker paper can be useful for. Um, though I don't really. So marker paper is very thin uh, in my. Uh, if I recall it correctly, because I haven't used marker paper since like I started with markers. <laughs> um, I just bought in my whole life just one one uh, pad <laughs> and never used it uh, after having failed so often. And um, yeah, that, you have very thin paper. And that that's something like you you don't really like touching it. And I don't know. I, I just re recommend this stuff. I hope the I hope the motorcycle noise didn't <coughs> disturb anyone because that probably got through on the microphone. Um, two questions here. One of them is from me. Echo, why don't you draw during, uh, during the streams? Like, you moderate everything, but have fun. Oh, I'm having fun, and I wouldn't be having fun if I tried to draw anything that a bunch of, like hundreds of people would watch while I'm doing it. So, no. No way in hell I don't draw. I'm not I'm not that kind. I'm, I don't draw. <laughs> I make music. Um, and the other question was, um, somebody asked, can you talk a bit about how you developed your art style? How did you decide that this was the kind of art you would like, uh, you would stick to? stick with um the thing is like I, th I think if you if you come to a certain point with, with drawing why you don't necessarily have want to copy anymore or you don't you want to create your own stuff um you are like at a point where you want to decide what you think looks good i guess and um if there is certain stuff uh, where you often come back to to watch other artists, uh, like how 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 are they doing? <laughs> they doing? Um, then you de develop a certain kind of taste, and usually you want to match your taste with the with the stuff you draw. So uh, I think in the end that's like where it comes down. <laughs> Just uh, drawing what you like. I think so the thing is like I'm not in my head it's not like oh I'm going to draw like this the rest of my life <laughs> I'm uh, shaping and I'm developing uh, certain other tastes or sometimes there's a show that I like to watch and then yeah, you get inspired and stuff and so you, you adjust yourself to what you like mm -hmm. uh, when you use the colorless blender it tends to create a stain it doesn't blend well maybe it is because I was using bristol paper or copic paper Copic paper is usually the thing that uh, uh, does that kind of stuff. So I, like I said, I haven't used Copic paper for like almost ten years now, and uh, I am just recalling how my work was with it. And I have a few artworks uh, made on it, and stuff like that would never work I, on on Copic paper, I believe, because again, like you have the coding, and if you Imagine yourself like you have a flat board of plastic and you put some watercolor on it, it or like I don't know, you, you get an even even layer of, of color on it, and then you take like a, a solvent or something and then you push it right around. Um, yeah. Somebody also said maybe your blender is contaminated with other colors or just some some other fluid. Yeah, you have to make sure that uh, you clean it. Like if you have. Um, We'll come to that probably later, but if you have like a dark tone and you, you use your blender, then it gets stained a bit mm -hmm. and then you would use or swipe it on a, on a blank sheet and mm -hmm. get rid of it. 
But yeah, so so like a lot. Um, what helps you a lot is our pencils. Yeah. Just on Give my. Give us some pencil. Closer, closer. We need some pencil uh, <laughs> pencil sharpener action here. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I, I can't escape the brand. Okay. Yeah. But it's not the not brand. Not sponsored, but call us. <laughs> As, as it is with every brand name on our streams, not sponsored, but please call us. No, so with uh, certain parts, um, I, I could use more Copic marker on this. And mm -hmm. I could uh, go deeper and deeper while risking every single layer that I might screw up. So you want to figure out at some point, okay, at what point do I have to just add this few pencil uh, shades in order to make the still look consistent. So you don't really have like a pencil uh, work there. And at this point, like we can already start using the pencil. I have to get a bit closer. <laughs> See. Ooh. Just a little context for you guys. Uh, we're on the uh, top floor of a building. It is the, the, like, it seems like summer has already arrived here in Germany. I can hear my computer fan, which I couldn't <laughs> hear for the last few months, at least unless I was like playing a game or rendering a video. Um, I'm glad we upgraded to these smaller lamps because usually we have this like huge studio light. Uh, we couldn't live here without a uh, an AC, so we're, we're suffering through hell here for you guys. <laughs> um, just a little hint: if you uh, so far the chats. Great, I got a lot of questions that I can't keep up with, so please uh, please excuse if we can't get to every question. Um, but also please spam li something like, please check my channel, please check my channel, over and over that really, that, well, that won't even go through the filter, by the way. So you're just wasting time and it kind of fills up the chat and I can't see the good questions anymore. So, um, did you ever ask Laovan if he would sing for us, Echo? <laughs> I won't sing. I mentioned it to him. I mentioned it to him and I couldn't get him to agree. I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't want to to, uh, to um, expose yourself to that. Please do a time-lapse version of this. So afterwards, the uh, it will stay on. So you can still watch the whole stream and you can just like speed it up on YouTube itself. I think it goes up to... Um, Twice? Four t oh. Maybe even four times the speed. Oh, right. And then you can put your own music underneath. Because we're probably going to sound like chipmunks at that moment. And I'm I'm just making sure right now that I'm queuing up all the uh, lovely fan art that people are hopefully already... I was about to say inputting into us. Mm. But that kind of sounds computer science-y and stupid, so... Sending us is probably the right phrase. So I, I don't know if I should explain the, the use of pencils. <laughs> yeah, explain the use but, of pencils. Because um, oh, i got to concentrate right now on the Windows management. The thing is, um, you might... Uh, I am not sure how many people are familiar with it, but with a good white pencil, you can still achieve like um, a, a good amount of, of um, deepness to your drawing even though this one is very light skin like on darker skin this usually works very great um, I have done like a a, a video um, where I try to explain that but um, try to keep it uh, safe for work with uh, a little um, tape so if, if you if you like <laughs> boys love or Something like that, you might want to check that out. <laughs> Did Lavan mention the name of the color pencils already? Uh, it's a uh, Faber Castell okay. color, color pencils, but you like I have a few pencils from uh, like people were speculating Aldi. whether they were polychromos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, they're polychromos. <laughs> like my teacher has always said, these are not pencils; they are polychromos. Okay. She was very persistent with that. It's a very peculiar type of pencil, yeah. not to be compared with regular pencils. Yeah, apparently. Never in a million years would I think those were the same type of pencils. They don't <laughs> even look like pencils. They look like uh, polychromos. I am struggling with whether I should pursue art in college or to continue it as a hobby. Any advice? Um, it really depends on what you are aiming for. Um, if you want to work, let's say, for... Um, a company or something like that 
then usually I think you can um, go to design or something like that and or just work to, uh, at home because uh, the, the thing is like if you want to draw, uh, learn drawing uh, in the end that's like not something that you can essentially learn at school I guess um, or at least not where I have been they like I've met no one that taught you art in a way um, but if you are interested in the art market, like in, in museums and exhibitions and, and stuff like that, then you should probably go to um, some art school because I, I think like those people that, that will, will work with you, they value uh, a degree. Mm -hmm. But instead of going to any kind of college program, what I would always recommend is visiting some of Lavan's crazy workshops that he does all the fucking time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> No, but maybe you want to talk a little bit about the upcoming workshop. <clears throat> so I do a workshop in in, uh, in Bochum, uh, Germany. In Bochum. Germany. So usually lost all the viewers right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, no. The, the the cool thing is that I, when I was 14 years old, I went there as well to um, like a German mangaka who did a workshop there, and like we have good friends. <laughs> and right now, like at that time, I was the disciple, if you want. Okay. And um, yeah, so uh, when I was asked by by the bookstore, I immediately got the nostalgia feel and, and thinking like, oh, this would be so awesome if I would go there and do like something what I uh, attended years ago. And um, yeah, so this is mm -hmm. how this got started. And I think it's uh, in... in like May 5th or something. Please tell me the easiest way to draw fingers. I always struggle to draw different kinds of fingers. I can, so, uh, oh, sorry. Okay. It's not, it's not very super secret. Um, My but but it, it's still like an insider, so don't make sure to not tell everyone. <laughs> I but was about to say just take a photo of your hand, but you it can seems do that. Like you're coming up with something else here. You can do that, but um, there's also an app. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, it sounds very respondent now, but no, yeah. it's just like I usually don't really often mention it because it really sounds sponsored if you do that. But it's it's an app where you uh, go there. They should sponsor you. <laughs> yeah, I mean right now, and oh. you have like a collections of hands. And the cool thing about it is when you open it, you have a 3D model. But there is this button, and then you have like a little skeleton here, and then you can uh, move it to the pose that you like. That's can you make it show us the finger? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, don't waste time on it now. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's called okay. handy. I'm gonna send them a business email now uh, yeah, and an invoice. Uh, it's by I, I don't know if people know the magazine Imagine FX, but it uh, apparently is sponsored by them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because that's what it says if you open the app. Um, but that's very cool. Um, so just take a screenshot and then trace it. <laughs> At least one person in the chat also uses it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. No, it's, it's really like a, a helpful way if you, um, like some hand poses, you just go there with your phone and it, no. <laughs> you really can't take a good picture. No. Your videos about art school are helping me through art school myself. Thank you. I was wondering if you did an exchange while studying. Exchange? You mean like exchange? Studying abroad? No, I no. Like I had uh, the the the, not even the opportunity, but they were offering like a course where you go to France, and uh, it was too expensive for me, so I mm. didn't go there uh, because that's like often the thing that uh, those for, uh, abroad uh, seminars there you have to pay for them yourself. It's mm. not, um, yeah. For free, so I no, I didn't go abroad. Someone's asking for tips on drawing hair, which I believe is the topic of a future tutorial at some point. Not like you're working on it right now, but it's something. Yeah, with with hair, happened. it's usually like probably the the um, the most difficult thing is that I I'm not that consistent with it, with it. So um, if you if you look at here, like you have this kind of hair, and this is very different from this, mm. and. I, I usually go with what I feel like 
in that regard. Um, and I'm always afraid of overdoing it. So uh, this is why there's a lot like this, a lot of highlight, not really much shadow in it. Because I was a bit too afraid to um, do that. And yeah, but again, like using the blender at some point to um, make the few shadows tones blend in together and um, the, the great thing is that I have a little line here and just as with watercolor edges you want to make sure that they do not appear at an area where you want to have a like soft gradient so you can just push it to the line and yeah, make it look like a shadow, a hard shadow. Um. Somebody asked I just do, do the eyes. similar topic. I'm struggling on shading and giving light effects on my drawing. And when I add shade, it seems too much or too little, I think. What should I do? So, um, yeah, the, the best way really is to, to use pencils. Um, if you're not like really sure, you can still enhance lights by, by going there. And, and um, yeah, let's, let's use it right here. Like you can go here and lighten things up. Um, create transitions and uh, you can also use darker ones to uh, create colorful outlines or um, yeah, add more more shape or dimension to it and always make sure to also blend it in good together uh, well together so it doesn't mm -hmm. jumps at you ah uh, uh, I I'm gonna address. I'm gonna post this question so because uh, I've seen it a bunch of times. I want to become a mangaka in Japan. Any tips, please? Mm, so what I know as far uh, as I, I informed myself is that usually in Japan they like when you stick to your persona. Let's say. So if but you first are first of all, the disclaimer is that you're neither a professional mangaka nor have you ever been to Japan. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I just watched <laughs> a few documentaries about German uh, manga artists that made it in Japan mm -hmm. and they made it because they were using their stereotypes. So they were German and so they did like little shorts where they talked about German stuff, wearing lederhosen and stuff like that. And, and <laughs> That's that, so typical. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and we all do it. The, the, if I got up now, you could see some lederhosen, but I'm I'm too lazy. But to. but the the Japanese loved it, so <laughs> she was uh, very popular. And um, yeah, so I think yeah, if you want to do it in Japan, then that should be it. But if you just want to draw manga, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Um, to the person asking about VA as a subject, what is VA, and then we can address that. We're not we're not uh, familiar with all the abbreviations around the world about like college subjects and and, and programs. Uh, have you ever done any uh, something like the left-handed challenge? Just in private. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried it maybe a few. <laughs> times in, in school especially but no not not so far for YouTube I just mm -hmm. I have to think about it um, and also first question I've seen so far about the actual motive in that sense of what you're drawing so Fullmetal Alchemist who's your favorite character um, I, I'm very mainstream I would say <laughs> Edward yeah um, I, I liked uh, Envy when he first showed up but he doesn't really appear that often, if I remember it right. Um, but yeah, Ling, Ling was also very, very yeah. badass. <laughs> um, for me, it's what drew me to the series in the first place, which is Alphonse. Not not the human form, but the uh, the armor, which you can see on on the top right of the paper. I just I just like that. I, mean, I came. This guy. I kind of came from Mecca into that, so it was like, oh, that that's cool. That's that's an armor. Um, so I just <laughs> like see, I just like seeing that on screen. <laughs> I just think of the South Park thing. There's eine Frau im Kostüm. There's eine Frau im Kostüm. Are you getting a bachelor's in art? Let's see. Um, so if I don't have to, then I don't. Mm -hmm. I can just make it like that. So if I if I make it to to get more jobs and stuff like that, then I probably will uh, 
continue the freelance route because in Germany it's very stiff with the whole thing. So you need an art degree for teacher, for mm -hmm. um, exhibitions, for stuff like that. And that's not what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> But this makes more fun, so I... Yeah. Do you have any tips for learning German? I'd like to learn since most of my favorite artists are German. Mm. And they are a complete beginner, so they haven't even started yet. I, I can just say that uh, you have to have friends around you that talk a lot of German yeah. with you. Because just immerse yourself. I, I, I studied German to become a teacher, so I should know that, but they weren't able to really give us the key to, to teach German. It's just we have to um, do a lot of... Uh, what is it like? Um, try to get stress from the students mm -hmm. in a way and, and talk to them and say that it's all right if you are not really yeah getting better or something mm -hmm. <laughs> because there are like more exceptions to the rules than there are rules it's, um yeah did you ever make that craig x tweak yaoi drawing you mentioned in a previous stream <sighs> no i haven't mm -hmm. so far Is that something somebody could potentially request as one of your Patreon commissions? Yes, yes. Uh, even though, like, a uh, couple drawings are a bit more um, but I taking mean, more work. Let's let's be honest. This painting here yeah. came from somebody uh, asking you to do an Edward Edward commission, yeah. and then it turned into this huge. Yeah. So, if somebody asked for Craig, I knew you would add tweak. <laughs> so that's the hint for you guys. Uh, what am I even talking about? The uh, so this this guy has a Patreon. If you really wish to support him, there's many ways to do it. One of them is Patreon, and uh, I believe it's the ten dollar perk reward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is uh, you? It's kind of like a small raffle of commission where it's basically just name a character or uh, even your own OC as long as you have like something like a reference sheet, and he'll pick one at random, and that's his that's that's the something subject. he'll draw for yeah. for that month. Sometimes it's uh, it's a little bit more than a sketch. Sometimes it turns into this because he just can't help himself. It's depending on what I'm doing at the moment, yeah. I guess. Because or if you're, if you're trying to procrastinate actively. Yeah. Um, I've been drawing for four years and I still can't draw eyes. Do you have any tips? We also have... You, you get three uh, eye tutorials, right? But they're not about drawing, they're more about the coloring, right? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're okay. more about the, the copic thing. But what do we say about drawing eyes? Um, I think it's like with everything else, you have to get the proportions. Uh, you have to get your visions correct. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing about drawing something like that, usually is you do sketch at first, Mm -hmm. Then you think what looks good, what looks wrong, and then you, you use a light table or you use uh, Photoshop or something. And then you continue and, and try to erase all the mistakes. And um, mm -hmm. if you do that long enough, so this had like I think five steps of sketches. I had like a lot of sketches before I, I even did the outlines. And um, yeah, I think with eyes it's the same. So I mean, <laughs> It's like at, at some point you you have the 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 um, the, the um, vision, hmm. so it doesn't take that long anymore. So you can just quickly like do do an eye, and um, at that There's point, probably a bunch of minds blown right now. How quickly that? No, it, it just it's just always the same aesthetic at this thing. So, and, and then like if you if you could struggle with filling the eye that like you can do loads of things uh, it shouldn't uh, it, I don't know if you want to have more diversity in your characters you really can change it you can put like a little um, I don't know how to call it but doing that for years <laughs> you can do that so uh, shading the rest and you can do like a dot here uh, there's Things, but if uh, when you come to that, like uh, you have some better feeling for proportions, and then you can also do everything else. It's not a specific thing that. Uh, the problem is the other eye. The other eye. <laughs> the other eye is always okay. That is also like like one. something. Uh, yeah. Just let me go back. Like if you okay, I'm not yeah. sure how how far thing is about, um, but. In my head, I try to to figure out like the 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 distance it has. So we would shade this one here, and then we have the, the nose bridge. 
And since this should be on a line, then we can draw a line right here. And then here there would be the eyebrows. And then you can pretty much guess. Again, like you have an eraser with your... Just, just guess. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of things like you can... If it looks wrong, just erase it and try it again. Um, you have to be a bit brave, uh, you know, like not... You, you, you can... Um, De devote yourself to, to drawing this thing now um, but usually it would be better to just slightly sketch it maybe view it from the distance maybe just mirror it look through the light and then uh, you can elaborate it but uh, <laughs> this point um, yeah. again wow. it will come <laughs> with time when you have some, some uh, better understanding of proportions yeah is it drastically different to use alcohol-based markers versus watercolors? I use markers and I'm interested in incorporating some watercolor in my art. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it is different. It's not the same. Um, but it, you use them quite similarly, right? Yeah, but because the thing is, I, I started with Copics first and I have some kind of feel to how they behave, uh, which is very different uh, at some point from watercolor. With watercolor, you can swipe it off. That's not something you can do with Copic markers, so you have to be very careful with those. And um, yeah, just I, I would say try it and, and see how they, they react. So one thing I definitely do not recommend is uh, to um, do Copics first and then do watercolor on top. That won't work. Um, you really can just use watercolors after you are done. Uh, you can just use Copics after you're done with your watercolor painting and maybe add some some deepness to it, some some darker shades or something. But the other way around, the the, the watercolor will stick on the Copic surface. So where there's more ink of the Copics, the 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 watercolor sinks in, and you are not able to correct it. I I did this mistake like uh, mm -hmm. and learned it the hard way. Do you think a background painted in paints would take the attention of a character drawn in the foreground painted with color pencil away? I guess I guess the word away. So if you paint if you paint the background but the foreground character is done with pencils, it's really depending on how you would uh, translate it. So yeah, it can might can be not, also it can not look consistent so it might be a chance that it looks uh, kind of off like one thing doesn't belong there um, but if you're able to translate it and to to create a mix of styles that both mediums can achieve then it would work so uh, for example you can do a watercolor painting and edit something digitally, but you will still need to use the textures and stuff like that. Otherwise, the eye can immediately spot uh, the, the there's something not really belonging in there. Mm -hmm. Lawan, you seem to be very distracted, or uh, are you just trying to procrastinate? You mean the stream right now is procrastination? Although the stream was a plan. It's <laughs> the, the, not like you're doing the stream now because... No, it was really like... I, I thought, well, I, I spent the whole week doing this, this work and then I thought, well, I, I didn't film it. So mm -hmm. uh, now I can... I, I want to do a live stream. Mm -hmm. that, and essentially because I now know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Rephrasing my previous enquiry, uh, should I take art as a subject for high school and event eventually public exam, or should I study it during university? Because it always depends, right, with those those questions. Like, I don't think yeah. you can be more. We can more answer this more precisely than it really depends on what you're trying to do in the end, and also like what country and what what job yeah. aspect you are looking out for. Are you I trying think to become in Spain a teacher? they have like really yeah. good courses with anatomy and stuff like, like that. classical art yeah where you, where you have like life drawings and, and stuff like that i mean we have also life drawings in, in germany but they are more on the expressive side to, to put it like that mm -hmm. so you're not supposed to get the anatomy right you're just supposed to get something on paper you're that... just supposed to get the idea on paper and everything oh we got your fluffy hair on on, on yeah screen. no 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 don't yeah. don't brush it away there it is a little bit of it now it's gone let me... Okay. 
time. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So for this uh, step, I'm using just pencils because the eye is really small, hmm. and you have to uh, have it with markers. You would maybe get a drop there, and then it's ruined. So points like that, I like to use a pencil. Hmm. Do you usually line your drawings with color pencil or pigment liners? Do you have any tips for lining smoothly with minimal smudging and wobbling? I like the word wobbling. Wobbling. <laughs> um, this one was done with a digital medium, so I used Clip Studio to do the line art. Um, yeah, I use Copic Multi Liner, they do not bleed uh, or yeah, blend with the Copics and usually like the, the pencil line is what, what smudges and um, you just want to make sure to have it all erased mm -hmm. and then that's it. And it shouldn't smudge, I mm -hmm. guess. <laughs> Lavan, will you show us your majestic curly hair? It's straightened. Will you show us your majestic straightened hair? There. There you go. Wait, I'm gonna go full face cam for a sec. They are. Yeah, they're, they're very long. I, yeah. I almost can put them behind my ears. All right. Um. He looks like a mad scientist. <laughs> Albert Einstein. So, I yeah. did the skin, I might do him now, um, yeah, probably later use a, a bit of pen white to put the, the mm -hmm. light highlight there. There haven't been, <laughs> there haven't been enough innuendos just... in the stream, when are the dirty jokes uh, going to start slipping out? When the alcohol gets involved? I just have to check at the moment because I used like um, that, that's a problem. Like some markers are already empty, and sometimes I like to just mix another different tone in there, so it's not inside what's on the on the package. Package. That there, there is your word for for this hour. Let's see. I think this one. Yeah, this one might be it. All right. I just do the the hair there, so it has a bit of a mm. nicer look. But the hair also, like at uh, this point, I wasn't really sure how I'm going to shade it. So what you see here is in a way just one layer of Copic, then with pencils slightly shaded, and then I try to go after the shades with the other marker. And um, yeah, since it's like that, I'm trying to get an even um, coat of color on the hair. <laughs> Why do you hate Psy so much? I almost downloaded it because I thought the beginning of your old April Fool's video was serious, El Mao. I don't hate Psy, to be honest. You um, still use it sometimes. Yeah. It has like nice brush settings and you can do like cool stuff with it. I am not sure how you would get that feeling that I hate Psy. <laughs> No, but I usually I, I used Sai for a long time for doing line arts, but then I switched to Clip Studio because uh, I had a better access to it. They had like some, what is it, uh, discount and then... Mm -hmm. How do you become the best, the best in using watercolors? And I'm not gonna settle for any answer other than that one that gets me to be the best in watercolors. Practice. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> yeah, it's really... He, he's got some good beginner tutorials on watercolors. One of them is just a general beginner tutorial and the other one is about shading skin. Um, like a really realistic shading of skin, like almost digital shading. I would assume start there and then work your and then ask questions on those videos so you can do the next videos. I mean, watercolor is some kind of like it's a complicated topic because it's really lots uh, about um, has to do with the experience of letting color dry and adding another layer and um, stuff like that. It's at some point I have trouble to to explain it to people because. I just think I I already said enough, <laughs> so there's like not that big of a secret. Um, 
Or at least I, I haven't figured out how to uh, make the the the, um, the point obvious. Question: I don't own a Copic blender. Will a brush dipped in normal rubbing alcohol work as well? I am not sure. No, I don't think it will have like the same effect because uh, you can't control the the flow of your of your pen of your brush. Uh, I tried once to do that uh, as an effect, so um, to to sprinkle some some alcohol or, or blender fluid, or I'm not sure, um, onto the paper to have like the galaxy stuff going on. Um, but if you have like a pencil, a, a brush dipped in, in in ink, and you place it here, then it will mm. immediately spread, and you have like little to no chance to to correct anything. So. Oh, and just a notes for you guys, so we're coming up on the end of the first hour where we're just going to take a very short break, like two or three minutes, nothing long, so don't run away, but instead I uh, I, um, I suggest you use that time to submit some of your art to our, well, I guess stream art submissions. Um, you can find everything you need to know in the video description, which uh, if you're on on your computer it's underneath the video and if you're on your phone you gotta close the chat for a second to be able to read it. Um, there you will find all the guidelines. So our theme today is fan art because he is doing this giant A4 sized paper um, <laughs> fan art of Full Metal Alchemist. So that's the theme for today. Only please, please only submit stuff that you've either finished very very recently or are working on right now. Um, because I've already seen somebody tagging their 2016 uploads on Instagram. Fine. Shame on you. Um, and we're going to take a look at them after that break. Uh, it's, as always, going to be a ton of stuff to get through, so we're probably going to spend the whole hour like having those uh, scroll through on the side. So, um, But do send your stuff in, uh, either on Twitter or on Instagram, using the hashtag LavanArt. Lavan, no, sorry, Lavan fan art, very important. But you can find it all in the description. You can also go into our Discord. we got a channel just for stream art submissions. Uh, you can throw your stuff in there. We go through all three of them um, at some point, so don't worry if you submit your art now, it will very likely be shown. Okay, um, will you do the whole piece? I guess you'll try. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to get as, as uh, close as I can. And at some point I can just lay down basic colors. So, for example, for, for the, the red thing, I might do that when we do the art submission stuff. I just color the, the, the code red because there's also not much to explain about that. But let's start with, with Alphonse. Um, I just get like the, the blender fluid. One moment. He's going to the other room now, rummaging through the shelf there. Yeah, it seems like he found it. There, he's got it. He's coming back. There, he's got the got it. blender. Show yeah. me. <laughs> so this is... Uh, it says cleaner, but it's essentially what's inside this. What What does it say in German? Please read the German underneath. Reinigungsflüssigkeit für Copicfarben. Yes. Oh yeah. And yeah, this one... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure like lots of you know that, how to mm -hmm. refill copics. I just okay. do it in front of the camera. So, and now adding drops of it. Drippity drop. All right. People are saying at, uh, at least try to get to Alphonse because of the metal. And yeah, I yeah. agree. It, it's yeah, before I'll, you start doing like three different people all with the no, same. No, no, I'll, I'll start with Alphonse yeah. now. Oh, mmm, that smell. Mmm, alcohol. Mm, mm, reminds me of like disinfecting my hands. Yeah. Work. Right. Oh, yeah. Because uh, to have like a fully loaded uh, <laughs> blender, <laughs> that's like the the essential part of, of doing the metal thing. Always gotta have it fully loaded so it can discharge properly. Mm. So I just put it there. To have like a direct Com comparison. So, I'll start with the lightest tone. Um, I probably could do it like a bit quicker now, but I try to to explain how I did it the first time. Yeah. What, what, what are you gonna work on now? Uh, 
Okay. Alphonse. Okay, so I gotta adjust the camera. Keep, All right. Just start. Okay. Start. I'm just. I just so I know uh, what to zoom in on. Yeah. There it is. Good. Good. Yeah. Just. Just keep working. I'm, I'll adjust okay. as needed. Um. Don't worry about me. <laughs> But but yeah, it's not like the line. Oh wait wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. Th I'm that's sorry. what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm sorry for being stupid. That happens. Here we are. Um, All right. Just keep going now. I, okay. I'm, I got it. Um yeah, I'm going to start with the lightest tone. It's C C1 C1 there. Um and I'm going to just do the lightest shades or uh, to to go after like like what what um things are shaded and what are light to get the basic light situation and I'm using the lighter tone in order to be able to to correct anything um, while you know what you should do you should hmm? keep talking for three minutes and tease it until we go into commercial break oh my god <laughs> now no, just I, I just, I, I just, just start but we yeah. will take a break in like five right, minutes okay so um, yeah since right here this is the darkest spot we're going to to use the 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 light um, cool grayish tone, and um, yeah, in essence, just color it. And since we are going to have it a bit brighter here, we can use the blender. Yes. Work on that metal boy. Yeah, he he, he gets the treatment. My stomach is growling at me, but I don't want to miss the Alphonse coloring rip in pieces. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we're going to into a short break in five minutes. So, <laughs> so now that we have the, the, the lightest tone, we can just rub it right here. Just, just hang in there for five more minutes. <laughs> and drag it up here. Did you print that or is that the original? This one, uh, I, I printed it. Yeah, it's not the original. <laughs> it's not the... The original the... is in his vault now. So yeah. it won't ever be touched unless you clean your hands 20 times yeah, first. It's just like I um, don't have to worry about anything that happens to yeah. this one. Who is your favorite mangaka? Still, as always, it would be Kurt, Katsura Hoshino, um, the, the, the manga artist from The Greyman. Um, I haven't really found anyone yet that um, has had that much of an impact at my work as her work did mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, yeah but there are like certain other uh, manga artists that I really find uh, that I look up to especially since I'm working on, on a Nazi for work <laughs> comic there are a lot of Nazi for work artists that I um, yeah have in mind while working you know in my line of work I can just consume that <laughs> It's not strictly not safe work. Um, how do you make your copy colors look so smooth without using the blender since I heard that isn't really good? Or do so, you just recommend blender? Or uh, I, as I said, good? like if you use a uh, copy paper, I, I, I really get why no one would recommend you to do, use the blender because uh, you couldn't really like um, make colors bleed into another, but you just push colors around and, and drag them or lift them off your paper. And uh, that is something that would frequently happen if you would do what I am doing right now with copy paper. So again, um, this is ordinary copy paper or office paper. Um, it sucks your colors out, uh, as you probably can see already. Um, but the thing is, the result speaks for, for itself. So um, I don't really care that much because otherwise if I would just use a copic paper, so marker paper, I wouldn't use markers at all. So I, rather I just use uh, a bit more of it um, than not using it because I feel like I'm a failure. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, and as you can see, like you, you since we are very light, we can still just add once in a while, just another layer, and um, yeah, trying to get like the the smooth gray at the end that mm -hmm. we can. You guys are so high tech now, judging by how many cameras you use. It's actually just th uh, two. two. It's yeah. not three. It's just two. That's th these like that's the same camera just <laughs> zoomed in, which is why it looks so shitty. Um, if you support Lavan on Patreon, you're indirectly contributing to the Get Us a Proper Fucking Webcam Fund. 
I mean, the, the webcam is very proper, isn't it? Uh, I, I would like it to ones? be more high res, yes, yeah. I think. But I've never really investigated like which one I would upgrade to if you gave if you like threw some money my way. I wouldn't know which okay. one to buy. I am always dreaming of getting a proper video camera that just has a line oh, out. I, I just wanted to, like, I yeah. missed it. I, I want yeah. to explain what I did at okay, the moment. Okay, do that and then we're going to commercial break um, for our so sponsors. Blender has like more uh, purposes than just creating smoother gradients and helping you with it. But it also pushes color. Um, which probably, if you use marker paper, would be a purpose where you could use the blender, I guess. But let's see if I have something. No, not in this paper. But I can show it in a different piece of paper. Um, so we have, we have like, let's say this, this is over the line. Um, let's say we want to have, like, at this point, a straight line. We can use the blender and try and push that. Um, this really helps if you paint it over the line art and let's say for example you have like a, a flat colored background so at point, uh, points like these I would just if I paint it let's say over the line art I would just use the, the, the blender and rub it like this so we in the end the only thing that we have is a, a darker line just like this one but the color is not on, on the white, or the, the area right here is white again. So um, you can do that. You can also try and see um, how far you can get with that. Because at a certain point, it doesn't really work anymore. But as you can see, you can really push the color away um, to a certain degree. It's not the, the, the best solution at all places. Sometimes you just want to use white ink or something. Uh, you can at least achieve a certain degree of, of um, correcting your mistakes. Um, yeah, And that's what I did right here. So I don't really have to bother painting over the eye um, because I can just use a blender and push it right back. There he goes. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you cannot so casually say that he has a vault for his originals. I've never heard an artist do that for originals. Well, we get into the secret of his vault right after this short break. Wait, anyway, I, I can just, <laughs> just for this matter, I can just quickly short the uh, the, the the light thing effect that it okay. that you can create. It doesn't really take long, speed but it's run, a say, speed run Yeah, eye. it's the same uh, technique. It's just using the blender. To, on your way to a gold split here. And uh, yeah. This way you can uh, achieve um, this, this, let's say, uh, red light. Okay. Okay. So we're going into a short break and after that, we'll get into his vault. In my vault. And that's your innuendo for this hour. And also we're going to look at your artwork that you've submitted. I'm always centered, I guess. <laughs> on Instagram, Twitter, or on our Discord server. So stick tight. This is your chance to uh, to have a drink. I mean, you should have a drink with you. You should always stay hydrated, but go to yeah. the toilet. See you in a few very wilds.
Okay. All right. So, sounds back on. Now we just need to show something to you. There we are, back again. Hello. <laughs> back working on Alphonse. I'm working on uh, showing you all your beautiful art. But tell me, how do you store all your originals? Is it really a vault? No, it's a, a, a folder which I got from... What is it? Um, the religious class stuff, like Confirmation. Now that's going for it. I have you no idea. Folder. Yeah, Where I got a folder, folder. Like, but it's not really even. It's not for art. It was just left over from, um, yeah, older times, <laughs> and yeah, that's usually where I keep them. It's not. not it's not as fancy really no. as I was portraying it. Okay. Oh, do I have my Discord here? Yes, I do have my Discord here. So I'm going to start out with our lovely people on the lovely Discord, if it lets me. If it lets me. Does it let me? It does. There we are. There we are. That's a familiar view. And I'm sorry for chunking on a little chocolate bar. But we do also need some energy. Um, oh wait, let me add the face cam back. Put it down here, as always. There we are. And I'm still in the dark. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sherry Cars, for that contribution for the third camera, or let's say for the new first camera, maybe, <laughs> at some point. Thank you. That is really lovely of you. Thank you <laughs> so much. Okay, um, so yeah, let's get started with the art because there's plenty of it to go through. So please uh, understand if we can. I, I, I just like to, to yeah. think like when people ask, do we get the whole image ready? I mm. haven't think of, thought about this. <laughs> Which I was about to get into. So please do understand that we can't take a deep dive into everything. So we're going to keep this kind of quick. Um, we always do those in part as a way to like... Uh, show what the community does and uh, we know that artists have a big struggle of, of like getting do noticed having your art seen because lots of you people are doing great amazing art but you know you gotta kind of get the reach before people can yeah see it like it's hard we understand i'm still struggling with that as a musician so kind of use this as a little bit of a springboard which I, where i always tell people to do is um oh wait the text up there is wrong I always tell people that um, if you see something nice, if you see some great artwork here, do follow these people. Just do do follow them. Um, hmm. Hmm. So the text at the top is wrong. It's not love on selfie. It's love on fan art. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go, now we can get started. And it starts out with a clear. It's The name was clear, right? I, yeah. I wasn't 100% sure, but it's clear. Yes. Medical murder guy. Mm -hmm. Lovely, looks kind of cute. And uh, I only have this Gary, also my first watercolor painting. Oh, it's pretty good, I think, for um, the first one. <laughs> yeah, you can't really say anything negative about it, so. Yeah, so as I said, like we, we can't really take the deep dives yeah. too much. Um, here's one though where I gotta break that rule right away. So this is a little sketch by Clay Peter of the best boys for my work in progress, which will be the second short comic strip of Lao Locks, <laughs> the question for moisture. So so first of all, that's that's us. Wait, let me Aww. move that over a little bit. Oh, I hate this cropping here, but there you go. That's very lovely. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting, like the so there's people who go with Lao locks and there's people who go with Echo Van. <laughs> I mean, as a shipping it's, name. As a, uh, yeah, I guess so. Ah. So uh, battle that one out in the chat to see which one wins: Lao locks versus Echo Van. And who 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 did these? Who did these right here? Come on, come on, guys. What is it? <laughs> Sweat drops. <laughs> And I couldn't decide uh, which finished art I should post, but here's one uh, I haven't seen in a while. 
So this is from Monster Hunter. Sorry, so in this card it's hard to like zoom in. Um, I, I like this whole uh, yeah. developing from the dark thing that it has. Yeah. Punk Unicorn, yes, I do have a mechanical keyboard with blue switches, but I try to remember to use this one during the stream and I always forget. I, I got a more silent keyboard. Um, here's my little fan art submission, Krilla from uh, Cirilla or Kirilla. I'm not sure, I haven't played this from The Witcher. Oh, I, I haven't played this either. I like the rendering of the hair. <laughs> Dope. Um, so, wasn't sure which one to submit out of my current work in progress fan art, so why not submit them all? Presenting Edward Elric, L and Toka. So we got some L. We got some, I guess, Toka, which I don't know, I'm sorry, and Edward oh, Elric. Okay. Nice. He's cute. It's cute. Um, and this is Irelia from League of Legends. Currently working on it. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. Good, good proportions there. Um, this one... Oh. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like the color. I like the light blue, like white and blue. It's, it, like it, it, it's a little, a little basil. It's <laughs> yeah. So same, same submission there. Nice. I, I like the the thick lines with the with the good angles. One of my recently finished fan arts. It's an ACO. Uh, it's an ACO size. That's a lot of detail for an ACO. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Amazing. Um, no character information here, so please don't hate on me if I don't know the characters. Now that's something I did not expect. <laughs> Hank is, is here. Four twenty was yesterday. Hank Hill. <laughs> no, he's he's selling you propane and propane accessories. Propane, okay, yeah. but but he looks very very uh, dank. Mm -hmm. Oh, Souls has a poll set up. Uh, a straw poll. If you, yes, uh, please post it and I will boost it. So people can vote. Um, currently working on a link while watching. How do you color clothing realistically? Oh, the struggle, oh, is, the real. struggle is real. Every <laughs> time. It's also like with this one. It's uh, just strokes. Mm -hmm. wasn't wasn't really in the mood for some some elaborate and freezes. This is the student council president from Kakegurui. I assume mm -hmm. that's how you pronounce it. Here we get Mifa. Had to think a little bit for the name, about the name, but yeah, that's Mifa. Definitely Mifa. Yeah. Um, here we got uh, Greedling. <laughs> a Greedling thing. Ah. Some yeah, I was really wondering if yeah. I should give him like black uh, clothes mm. to make him the bad one, but uh, thought, well, the hair of Roy is already black, so having black above might look a bit. Um, or might not be that bit of big of a contrast. Mm -hmm. And here we get Emily Cauldron from Dishonored. Oh, I, I also like the proportions on this one. Mm -hmm. Good, like the, the, Good the palette. yeah, the angle from the eyes is hard to to get. In. I've tried to draw a Dakimakura of Tsuyu for the happy, for the be happy challenge. Okay, that's it. Be happy challenge. Good, nice. Um, so there's a character in a web team I was reading and was finished yesterday. I do not know what to do with the foreground and background, but yeah. Well, I wouldn't say you would... I, I think it's okay. I mean, he takes up the whole picture, so I wouldn't, I, yeah. would, I wouldn't add anything to the foreground. I think the background is... It's very bright that way, so I, I like it. I like it the way it is. My favorite bleach pairing. I can't really draw backgrounds, so I drew those two with traditional methods. And then add the background... Oops. At the background on the PC, and that's how you avoid the parts you don't do. You never get better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like me not doing music with vocals for a long while, which yeah. didn't really contribute to me writing better lyrics. Work in progress of Zuko from The Last Airbender. Ooh. Ooh. He's working out. It seems to be hot wherever he is. It's one I of the hot ones. I drew this a bit ago as a challenge. It's a realistic digital painting, and it. And it is because in the thumbnail, in the short version, I actually thought it was a photo. Oh yeah. For a second. Seven or seven, obviously. Crappy sketch of Jumin. I'm actually working on a fan art of Atsushi Nakajima from Bongu Straight. Oh, I should not try <laughs> reading those. Here we go. That's the art. That's what it's oh. about. That looks great. Yeah. I like <laughs> very, the, the very scribbly. 
the minimalistic approach yeah. on the color. Um, Mika Yu is this pairing, apparently. I, 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 I don't know them. But I, I think it's from Ariwano Seraph because I do remember these uniforms and seeing them. I have no idea. Uh, this is this is something like my second or third attempt at watercolors. Ooh, this is also nice. Mm -hmm. It's not that that um, much of the the, yeah. the hated edges. <laughs> now we had a work in progress. Best boy from Puyo Puyo Tetris. Oh my uh, game. Uh, Tetris? One of the characters is a fish. I have no idea. Which. Come to think of it, isn't that much special anymore since Sidon, but yeah. <laughs> Is it that where, like, the, the, the picture that was photoshopped of us? Is it that? No, 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 it's not that. Puyo Puyo, it's, it's actually like a Tetris game mixed with another similar puzzle mm, game, like okay. a Connect 3 or Connect 4. So you get Princess Peach. That's a work in progress. I oh, no, wait, that's, she's actually wearing the white, so I, I'm not sure if it is a work in progress. I love the, the, the hair okay. shading. Mm -hmm. And then we got her, Shindu Ai is, I assume the name of the character. This I know from Fire Emblem. Oh yeah, also like the, the hair is very eye-catching. Cena drawn in the time by the likes of Kidura, a Rayman doodle made with inks. Yep, that's Rayman, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, it's cool and very nostalgic. Here's uh, Dion from Fate. Mm hmm Good work there. Shading. Just a crack drawing, why not? Okay. So the if I were to submit art it would look about that way. <laughs> and uh here we got Bakago from B N H A. <laughs> <laughs> from the Boku no, no Hero. Boku no Hero. Boku no Pico Academy. Yeah. I, there, there you go, that's your Bokno Pico reference. Order. We should start making bingo sheets for, for these streams. Yeah. And like the B Bokno Pico would be in the center where it's mm. free basically because you always it get it. It comes that. always up. So here's some World of Warcraft Orc. Very, very nice rendering there. Oh, Great. yeah. Um, it skipped a little. We're nearly at the end of the Discord. Oh no, phone, keep silent. Can't watch Twitch now. Um, no name for this character, but I'm sure people will recognize them if they know them. I don't know many characters, I'm sorry. Here's a dragon! I fucking love dragons. This is a cool dragon. Almost looks like <laughs> a, a, an etching or something. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. And a Bishi boy that I drew, love your art. Yeah, definitely Good. Bishi. <laughs> Very I'm pretty. I'm actually working on a fan art of the Colossal Titan of Attack on Titan. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely recognizable. Yeah. I would have been able to tell it without <laughs> the information, Thanks. which is very rare. So you're doing you're doing a good job already. Um, okay, that's the uh, that's the Discord peeps. That's that's the, our friends on the Discord. So join our family on the Discord. Um, it's lovely over here. Oh wait, you see, ah. so we got the poll now. I uh, I had gotten it in my DMs. Somebody slid into my DMs and sent me my <laughs> uh, sent me a poll. You could have just posted it in the, in the chat, I would have been fine. So here's the poll. This is where you can... Uh, I that actually didn't really check the link. Let me make sure it's not actually something completely <laughs> different. Yeah, it's Echo Van versus Laolox. Um, that's where you can uh, vote on the proper name. I'm not even okay with there being one necessarily. <laughs> You started it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I do it for the entertainment. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm queuing up the next art pieces which were submitted through Twitter. As my computer keeps heating up, we're at 65 degrees Celsius right now. Ooh. Lovely temperatures right next to my leg. Um, so close Discord, pull up Twitter. There it is. Just to make sure, yeah. like everyone understands yeah. what I'm doing, I'm what are you doing? doing the skin, and I don't really care if I paint over the the fabric because it's getting black, and then you can just paint over it. So just, um, yeah, 
do the light parts very roughly. That's what I want to say. Like that's always very helpful in order uh, to do not care about that mm -hmm. much. All right. So here's the Twitter submissions. Um, Initial D fan art I've uh, finished last week. Oh, this one is cool. I like, mm -hmm. I like the atmosphere. It's mm -hmm. very, uh, what is it called? Um, Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, here's one from Mystic Messenger. I hope it doesn't, yeah, it crops out a little bit, but as always, like, check out the hashtags on Twitter and Instagram if you really want to see them in their full glory and not, like, compressed to hell on a YouTube stream. <laughs> Um, it doesn't really do them uh, much justice. Yeah. Yeah. Justice. Um, here's a guy from BTS. It's not perfect, but at least I tried. Also, really, really love your videos and your art and everything. You're so talented. I think it was amazing. Like the the, the amount of, of detail while not having that much shades. It's mm -hmm. Now here's something for me. I love Transformers, but they are so painful to draw. Let's take a look. Nice. Nice. Oh. You're getting me with that mecha. Yeah, I could never do that. I can... <clears throat> I can do whatever the hell I like. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Let me try that again later. Um, what was that? I don't know. I just went for a deep transformer voice. I drew this recently and I really liked how it turned out. Sadly, I cannot join the full stream because of uni, but I would like to participate anyway. Oh, this looks so good. It's like greatly rendered. Yeah. It's very cool. It really pops out. Mm -hmm. The whole, like... Rim light effect is cool. Okay, this is the point where I'm going to ignore the chat for a few minutes. Um, finished BNHA watercolor piece and recommend any recommendations? Mm, well, it's finished. I wouldn't yeah. do anything. The only <laughs> if thing that's finished, it's finished. I would say maybe a bit stronger outlines, maybe. Or for like the character uh, for Deku to to pop more, and for the hair um, of Kakchan. <laughs> Kakchan. If you're German. I'm not gonna make a joke about that. Yeah. Highly unfinished, but here's a redo of an old drawing based on my take of uh, Valifor's Fate Faith from Final Fantasy X. Ooh, love the wings. Yes. My most recent fan art. It's of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Jack Spetticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, after this we need to talk about the Jack Spetticky controversy. Um, work in progress of my beautiful Thief King Bakura. Also oh watching my God. art stream. Yeah, this look one is, at this. is great. Just oh. look at this. This is awesome. And the guy in the background photobombing. Yeah, I like the colors. This, this gold shade and then the white tones. Purple tones reminds me very much of uh, the lilac I used to get rid of the yellow um, yellow tint uh, that I get when I bleach my hair. Um, and here we go. I think I just was under the influence of Kauto Hirano. So here you go. Oh, this is cool. Nice. We so we just saw the the we episode. Just started rewatching Brotherhood. Yeah. We got like four episodes in, so. This is a sight. Yeah, it reminds we me of yesterday. Seen it, but it's like something similar. <laughs> Funny thing though is still, I read the whole manga books in like two weeks or something, and I like almost forgot everything. I know that some details, like the childhood and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's why it's probably very helpful to watch it again. Um, too excited for the stream today. This one is of my f my most recent uh, or more recent fan arts. It's Stefano Valentini from The Evil Within 2. I'm generally oh, drawing Oh, yeah. Stuff. I Those never really fans. knew how you would make this character look hot. Is it the photographer? <laughs> yeah. Photographer. The photo photo photographer. The photographer, yeah. <laughs> He's graphing the photos. No, yeah, it's look, look better than in the game. And, oh, here's a cute Edward. Edward oh, yeah, yeah. Shibi Edward. His artwork for a birthday of my friend. Your artworks are always amazing, inspired me a lot. Especially your artwork of Ice Princess. Right now I'm having I haven't finished it, but I will try. Thank you. Your your work is also very like inspiring. I I, I can just stare at it. It's cool. I need to do more shibis. And um, here we got 
I don't really know if I can say uh, send in two fan Oh, I've seen it on Instagram. I follow oh. her on Instagram. Yeah, I, I like it. I like yeah, this whole strong. contrast. Very thing, strong. Yeah. It's not that I'm particularly a fairy tale fan, but it's awesome. Okay, there's one more which I'll check before showing because somebody might be cheeky and sneak something in. Nope, it's totally fine. And there it is. It's the scout from uh, Team Fortress 2. Ooh, very dynamic pose. I like that. Nice. How, how you say it in, in, in uh, the the drag race review? Like it's it's uh, a toot. <laughs> Yeah, they, they toot and they boot, and I think boot was the bad one and toot was the good one. Okay, time to... I, said, I felt like I smelled some alcohol coming in, maybe that was the yeah, Marcus. Yeah, the, the Marcus. I thought, is somebody in front of my window drinking a cocktail, but we're on the top floor, so that's weird. Okay, let's check the results of our poll. Now, um, let me see if I can actually show it on screen. Which browser is it? It's this one. Okay, the crop is shitty, but you can see the results. Okay, so here are the results. It's kind of close because <laughs> there were only like 25 votes, which thank you, there were only 25 <laughs> votes. But it seems like Ekavan has won by five votes. Oh, all right. Like, Interesting. I, I guess I guess that's the reality we're living in now. <laughs> um, I call meddling. I think somebody meddled in this election. Okay. Um, oh yeah, the Jacksepticeye, Jacksepticeye controversy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bring us up to speed. The, the thing is, like, uh, it's it's been a while. So I I have to say, like, uh, I sometimes, uh, no, sometimes it happens that that people uh, compare me to to other real life person exi existing person persons regarding my looks when I turn up in front of the camera. <laughs> Which doesn't happen very often. That, that doesn't happen very often, but what does happen often is that people say like, hi there Jacksepticeye, it's, it really happens some, some what often. Um, still not as often as I get to hear that I look like Gerard Way. That, that's like, since I was 15, that's something I got. But uh, yeah, so we did a goof for, for uh, April Fools. And I did Photoshop, like a picture where I used the hair of a photo of Jacksepticeye and I covered myself or I revealed myself as him. Which I, I, I think that might surprise you, but it, it, it was a joke. It's not true. It's just uh, when I have a beard, I become like the... the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, and then that's just... The, the let's player. But it's still... I mean... It's obvious he's not Jacksepticeye, yeah. but he is Jack Spetticky. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's a made-up character. Because before you were there, there was no Jack Spetticeye. I actually uh, thought about that before we were going to make that joke, because I thought, well, I don't want to offend or, or like, appropriate anything that, that might, um, <laughs> I know, get me, like, some of the hardcore fans uh, mad at me. So uh, we, we chose to choose mm. Spetticky. <laughs> OMG, you do look like Gerard Way. Thank you, thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's yeah. yeah. Why don't you make your videos in German? Mm. I can just say like my brother also gets uh, always the same comment. So I have a twin brother and he also. So there seems to be something on it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why don't you make your videos in German? That's very easy to answer. Only about eight percent of the viewers would understand what he says. Yeah. And, yeah. English is just the universal language of the internet. So. That's that's where we are mm -hmm. <laughs> at a spe as a species. Okay, so I've pulled up the uh, artwork, your recent fan arts on uh, Instagram. Starting out with some bleach, some Ichigo. Ooh, I like this one. Nice. I haven't read bleach though, but I like well, it. knock yourself out. Yeah, like yeah. the first seventy uh, <laughs> right there. Um, I really just yeah. wait until we can finish the the iPhones. Like we 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 have to we have to. All right, so we're, let's breeze through them. Here's some Sidon for you, good old fish buddy, fish love friend. Him. Love him, yeah. Nice. Um, come on. Oh oh, alcohol. Yeah. Uh, here we had some fire lorm for you. Some yeah, I love that design. I know it from from Smash Bros. Yeah, and uh, here we got. It doesn't say what 
animates from. So I don't know, but it's good. Yeah. Um, here we got Lincoln Beetle. Oh, Beetle. Posing for That's a photo. rare for, for drawing. Yeah. That's cool. Um, then here we have this uh, uh, illustration of John protecting Damien. Mm -hmm. Good one. Yeah, oh, like the, nice. the dynamics. Very nice. The composition. Here's Dreaming Boy. Please, fan art. Theme is fan art today, everybody. Please. Oh, 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 it kind of. Here's some fan art. You know, you know this guy you drew. Yeah, knocked. Painted please. him some knocked. Some knocked. What are you on about knocked? Soon there are more, more add-ons, yeah. more DLCs coming. Yeah. Here is a work in progress of Dazai, uh, Dazai Osamu. I, I like from, how, how flat the colors off. look at a certain point. It looks very printed. Hmm. Yeah, it does. But you still see the nice texture of the yeah. paper. Um. Oh, nice. Some Genji. Again, I'm one of those people who's never played Overwatch, and I'm probably never gonna play it. But man, do I like Genji's character design! Yeah, all twenty of them. But the drawing also <laughs> looks very professional. Yeah. Um. Next up, oh, we got some Zelda and your good friend. Oh, a Korok. Yes. The best, best nut boys. They, they really are the best nut boys. But nut, with a double T and a silent E. Nut. And here we got um, Rose Quartz. Oh, from, from, from Steven Steven Universe. Universe. It says on the hashtags. And uh, here we got Leopold Vermillion from Black Clover. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. And uh, here we get some Naruto. Oh, this also looks cool. To be exact, Pain. I love, love the, the perspective thing and mm -hmm. also, again, the room Great light. Great foreshortening. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, here we got a great watercolor. No, we've seen it. Sorry. Please try to stick with the theme today, with, with, with the fan arts theme. Um, uh, Fantastic Beast. This is, ah, okay. seems like is a fan art. Nice. Great. Love the effect they had there. Um, A series of unfortunate events. Oh, this, yeah. Okay. I, I think I know that. Yeah. It's a movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get some Marvel. I mean, this is... I, yeah, the, the, the yeah. Captain I America, recognize, I guess. Yeah, and I recognize it, but I can't... Like, I, I, I also know, haven't watched it. Um, some Brooklyn Idiots, Captain America, Steve Rogers, and Bucky Barnes. Mm. And here we get some Attack on Titan. Ooh. Schöne Grüße von der Mosel. <laughs> My parents like to vacation there. And, and buy wine. <laughs> Schöne Grüße an Trier. Um, reposting this Bokagu, bak, bak, Bakugo fan art temporarily. Uh, love you, Lavan. You're a huge inspiration. Thank you so much. Nice, nice neon colors. Yeah. Trying to work a bit more on anime manga style. So here's a BNHA sketch. People really seem to love that show right now. Should I watch it? Chat, should I, should, I, should I watch BNHA? I know what the answer is. Yeah, I'm me too, me end. too. <laughs> Just wonder like, how, how, how long will it take until they ask yeah. you if you have watched it. So this is a character from one of the Honeyworks, uh, one of the Honeyworks last song. I love that band and I fell in love with the design. Looks good, looks good. Very blushy. Oh yeah. Um, I agree with Talia Cross in the chat. Can we stop with the Yaoi? It's reminding... Uh, what? Not, not the last part. It's reminding me of a time I got I caught a classmate writing a fanfic. Now that's not the part that I uh, can identify with, but I can identify with the first part of that sentence. Here we got uh, Shuichi Saihara from NDR V3. Okay. Not too familiar. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Yeah. We were saying watch it. Yes, yes, yes. Watch, watch BNHA. Yeah. Maybe we. We can give it a chance, if you really want me to. And here we got this dude. Yoshikage Kira from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. That's another show that I haven't watched. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but uh, the art style is really interesting. Yeah, it is. It's definitely unique. Um, fan out of Shana from Shakugan no Shana. Good, nice. Yeah, lovely colors. 
And here is some Neon Genesis Evangelion. Nice. That's that's why you get me again <laughs> <laughs> with the mecha. Nice. Oh, this is so basically work in progress for three hours now. And <laughs> uh, here we got an Ariel. Ooh. And let me really quickly get up and check something. If there's a bird at the window. Is it? There is a there is a magpie walking through my my gutters and it's oh. looking at me. But it doesn't fly away. Hi there little buddy. <laughs> you want some food? I got some food. For I you. want to see it too. Oh, no. flew away. Oh. So there was a magpie in my gutters, and he looked at me, and he wasn't scared. So maybe I can train him to visit us at some point. We got to do that. We got to do that. I, I wait a second. I think I got some bird food out there. Maybe he found that. Maybe it rolled into the gutters. Okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, this is Kaneki. Oh yeah. I also like the details. There. Are... They they have some eye catching thing on them. So, yeah. oh, here's some Mushu. I like oh, the little guy. it's it's been a while since I saw him. Yeah. Uh, here's a fan art sketch of I Amber's character just started during the stream. Looking good so far. Proportions seem fine. Yeah. I assume by this point nice you've shapes. already gotten a lot further, because I don't know what... Oh, look at this! This is an interesting fan art. Oh, of yeah. Guy I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lavan. Pondering. <laughs> nice. Um, and this is Lavi. Ooh, it's a very, very interesting alternative interpretation. version, yeah. yeah. Here's Taulan Arts, with a Sailor Mercury portrait. I actually saw that. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thinking, also, it reminds me of the old times. No, no. Yeah. No magpie. Sorry, no magpie. Also, mom. I accidentally deleted this because I thought that was my first personal account. Um, but it is also from Boku no Hero Academia. And a uh, quick repost of a recent fan art. The portrait of my biggest influence, Jen Ledger. Do you know her? I don't know her. Sorry. No. I don't know many people. I just know this guy. And I, I, I know some beauty, but, but not all of them. I don't know, but she, she looked like a beauty uh, or something. Yeah. Um, and here we got some more Boku no Hero Academia fan art. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's nice smooth so far. I would almost say, like, leave the, leave it wide. <laughs> kind of has something to it yeah wow look at this wow working on an fma commission for my friend while oh, watching yeah. the stream that's great 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 pose great perspective cool cool great fighting art. scene nice nice amazing and uh here we got some miku hatsune or hatsune miku next poll miku hatsune <laughs> or hatsune miku <laughs> And yeah, that's the art for now. So we took 40 minutes this time. Oh god. So this is how you know, like, this is why we tend to put some, at least some restrictions on on the fan art that or the art that's being sent in, because it really. I really tried to 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 yeah. to uh, use the time to get somewhere because we already looked at the skin. Mm -hmm. So ah, you got the skin done mostly. More yeah, or less, but... yeah. Like I could still add something with pencils. <laughs> um, also, like this, this uh, face looks a bit too too dark for me. So I will use some some pencil, some white pencil to um, yeah create somewhat of a gradient there and make the contrast higher. All right, but we can continue with. Yeah, Alphonse. Ah, oh, mofo, Alphonse. <laughs> You're such a mofo. <laughs> all right, so I hope you all recollect. That we started with using the, the C1 tone. And uh, <laughs> I, I use. crazy, oh my I, god. I use the dark uh, C7 tone, so I think it's probably the darkest shade that you can get with, with the Chao markers for um, the, the dark areas here. And um, yeah, we will continue and we will just step up a shade darker. And so. I'll pick C3, 
um, this shade right here. And I hope there's enough color left, but I also have a refiller. Okay. All right, we continue. So, uh, if, if, you, if you have paid attention uh, the last time I, I was working on Alphonse, um, we have the darkest spot here, um, there. And from that we can expand and, and blend. So this is probably like our, our safe space, if you want. I am okay. not kidding you. No, no, no. So, um, from, from that point, we can more or less like even paint on the whole, uh, on the same spot the whole time. And just as we did as, uh, with the light tone, we just drag it all the way here. Use the, the, the lighter blender to, to um, yeah, mix the tones and create the gradient. And as long as the color is wet, you shouldn't really face or have a problem. Hmm? That's okay. All right. I was hearing some, some low rumbling. I'm okay. trying to get rid of that. At some point, of course, you get to the lightest part and there you can again use the blender. It might be a bit difficult to hold three or, or sometimes even four markers at the same time in your hand. Um, but sometimes there's not really a way around it. So, um, yeah, make sure to at least have the, the, the colors ready to grab them. Um, if you can't have them all in your hand. And uh, yeah, this essentially goes the same way here. Um, not to spoil anything, but for, for really like the, the smallest details, we are going to use pencils. Nice. That's... Uh, the easiest way and also the safest one. Um, of course, you could do like lots of this stuff with the markers uh, all by themselves. But why should we? Like, there are easier ways around stuff, so you can do that. So I got two questions here. Mm -hmm. I want to learn digital art and I've been using a mouse for a few years already. I mainly do traditional, but is it worth it to get a tablet, especially since I can't afford something like a Wacom right now? Yeah, so, so a mouse and, and a graphic tablet, it's a very different uh, kind of usage. Um, since with a mouse you don't really have pressure or anything, like the, the line art might be a bit hard. Um, but yeah, they, they are like alternatives to Wacom. So maybe you could check them out. Like you, or, or you got a bamboo for, for yeah. 40 euros or I've something? I've had a bamboo for a long time and I prefer it because it's smaller. So if you if you spare some money for a bit of time, you, you probably can also mm -hmm. um, get like a good tablet, not with all that fancy like button stuff and uh, additional, I don't know, yeah. like touch or something but you can uh, still work with pen pressure and that essentially makes you makes it very easy to to draw and paint so you can do line arts and you can also paint mm -hmm. um, stuff so the other question here is will you ever do a video showcasing your originals and a video from like at some point to current time basically yeah I, I wanted to do that uh, for, for like I, I once did like an older art video where I went through a folder but the lighting is very bad and hmm. all very amateur like and I want to do like a re, uh, visit, yeah, yeah. And, and do that um, and with the originals like last year uh, at the end of the year I did a little um, something where I flipped through the work that I did over this at that time last current year, year yeah and um, yeah, probably going to do that next uh, at the end of the year again, maybe earlier. I mean, I know, like I still have. Uh, <laughs> you should shine a light on. Light on. Yeah, I'm starting to get. Uh, it's it's starting to get darker in here. Mm. A lot of Santa is out. It's really bright outside, but at some point we're just gonna turn the light up, up there, mm. and we're gonna be fine. But yeah, yeah. it will come. I like also material, um, art material, vlog, something like that. I 
want to do that. And I still have like the script for another video about studying art. Oh, and like can it's, you tease us? Yeah, it's tease biographically me. uh meant to be like I, I want to um, so it all started with an argument I had in the comic section where I uh, talked or I, I um, had an argument with another person <laughs> and we were basically agreeing on some things but on other things we just had different uh, opinions since we had different biographies mm -hmm. and so I just stated how I um, came to what I believe to be the most so, so my opinion so, so what I think is logical hmm. and um, the, the script in the end, uh, so this was the base for the script that I want to do a video on, just stating what I, uh, how I came to study art and, and what I did in the first year until stuff changed, which, uh, spoiler, it changed even in the first day, <laughs> my whole approach to the whole thing. And um, yeah, that, that, that's also like the, the script is almost ready and just a few like um, structural things that I need to work on. Mm -hmm. um, but I also need to get the visuals right. I am not sure if I do it like again a speed painting, if I do like a little animation thing or something like that. Um, yeah, but that's, that's, that's going to come at some point. Any watercolor tutorials in the works? Uh, gouache. gouache. I, I, I am. I have a script for, done for a basic tutorial for gouache colors, mm -hmm. um, but I also need to to film the material to get the, the footage. So everyone, put your hands up for gouache if you want. If you like gouache, I like gouache. <laughs> gouache. I've never worked with it, but I love it. It comes in tubes and it's thick. It's really cool to 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 correct mistakes and even if you're just used to watercolors. You you will probably know then what an effect gouache can have uh, on your on your painting. I don't even have a copic. What am I doing here? I don't, and I like watching this guy paint with them. Oh yeah, earlier somebody asked about what uh, what's actually what's your set of copics that you have. Now you don't have them all here, but you can at least like, yeah. So I uh, the, the 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 colors I have. So I have brought are uh, essentially the colors that I used for the the finished one. I during painting I just let all the colors out inside the box that I used, and so I could take them with me, so I don't miss some tones um, in in the stream. But um, yeah, it's in, in essence a collection that I um, gathered over 10 years now. Um, so I started with the set of 12 um, base tones, which were totally unusable. But there wasn't even a skin tone inside that set. And uh, yeah, later then bought one or two markers like over like the time of a year or something. And at one point I, I uh, took part in a um, competition. Mm -hmm. I, I made a short manga and um, that is also inside the art book. Oh yeah, let's, I'm gonna get, uh, grab, there is. grab the art book. I actually can show you the, the um, wait, 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 wait. Don't spoil everything. Find no. the page off camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know where the page because is. Because you do want to get that book. I know where, so nice. where the page is. Um, so visit, visit his Etsy shop, etsy.com slash Shop la just search for Lava, you'll <laughs> find it. Uh, his his art book is on there. We still have some. We still have some. Um, there it is. Not many, very many though. So I I did this little story. Yeah, that's one. Uh, when did you do that? I think it should say that. Two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. So that's nine years ago now. Yeah, and um, this I I won like. Uh, the box at this size with it and still mm. going with it. <laughs> it's like there's still the additional colors, but that was the, the basic set that me and my brother shared. Mm. Because you have to keep in mind, I of course share those with my brother. <laughs> okay, back to Al? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Al, Al is in the frame. Al's in the frame. So now we can try and, and get some color on, on the. Um, some 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 reflective light on the on the um, what is it armor? Roy Mustang looks hot there. OMG, he does. We just as I said, we just started rewatching Brotherhood yesterday, and we noticed how like his head is shaped very weirdly. There yeah, sometimes like they kind of squash his <laughs> head was, sometimes. I have to say, like it was really hard to to um, figure out how to do the hair and still 
getting the, 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 the look, overall yeah. look right, yeah. Right. Every once in a while you see like those little yeah. uh, edges bleeding in, then use a blender and get rid of it. Does Lavan read what we are saying? Now he can do that yeah, again, the, the, but he's mostly working, which is why I'm here. The, the, the <laughs> laptop got on standby. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Chat's back on track. Ah, all right. <laughs> Will you do a workstation tour? I have a very so small. show us your bed. Yeah, I have a very <laughs> small room. Um, I I can try that. I have to tidy up first, but um, it's not that much to see. It's very it's a very small room. If you've been uh, with me in the Instagram live streams, you've already seen it. Like, and boy, are these Instagram live streams hot? <laughs> because you see me on my bed, yeah. People are always asking for your brother to appear on stream. It, it Which, just happens yeah. maybe on, on Instagram live streams. Yeah, if you watch his Instagram live streams, Yastavi might appear in the background. Because we are uh, nagging on him and making fun of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because right here it's like. It's, it's like a competition, then he jumps on the live stream and it's like who. <laughs> yeah. Who gets the people going there? What do you prefer, watercolor or marker pens? And let me extend the question. So, when you started working on this, at what point do you say, okay, this calls for markers, or now nah, I want to do this with watercolor? Um, markers have like a very distinctive look. So, uh, if you see markers, usually all the, the immediate thing is you get shonen, uh, shoujo mangas also, but very like Japanese traditional. I don't know, like it, it has like a certain look to it. Watercolor also does that, but not the way as as Copic marker does. Um, but usually the way I decide what I want to to use uh, with this one at least was because I just had to print the line art. Um, so inkjet ink is Copic proof. Yeah. And so you can print the line art and still work on it. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that, that was what, what made me choose Copics for this one. How often do you do Instagram live streams? He never stops doing them. He be, like the question should be, when does he not do an Instagram <laughs> live stream? He does them all the fucking time. Uh, rarely. No, nah, he rarely <laughs> does them, but they do happen. I, but every time, like when I started, in the beginning, I'm very, very nervous. And yeah, uh, later, yeah, it, it gets better every time. And then I think, well, it wasn't that bad. I should do that more often. And then time flies by. How do you know that the blue you are using right now is of similar brightness as the C1 you used before, so it's only tinting it blue? It's not really. Um, the, I think even the blue is a bit lighter than the C1, so I have to be careful not to um, yeah, push the colors away, um, Yeah, which, which makes it a bit harder, but uh, yeah, it's in the end it's a try and error. <laughs> There's not really uh, that much to say about that. It's, you're just trying, and as you can see, like at, at points like this, it pushed it away. But since we have like a dark uh, shadow here, it doesn't really matter that much. So we can just use that. I like this idea that someone has, and we should have done that maybe on April 1st. Yeah. Maybe this is a spoiler for everybody who's now here, which might happen next April 1st. One day you should just replace Lavang with Yastavi, but do a normal stream as if nothing had changed. <laughs> yeah, we would wonder how many people would figure that out. Yeah. The secret twin brother edition. All right, now I'm placing the, the darkest shade. I think uh, every darker shade I will use pencil for that. And I'll just try to smudge it as good as I can. I'm captivated myself. Sorry for not saying anything. <laughs> I'm looking at the uh, finished result next to me. I'm thinking like, okay, so this is, this is how we're getting there. And it kind of yeah. looks like it already, yeah. What's your favorite Copic skin tone? Uh, eggshell. Eggshell. It's the lightest one and you really, you can shade everything. No matter how dark you need to go, it's the lightest tone and you can still like um, correct mistakes and, and stuff like that. So it's 
like an all-rounder. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, it's it's this tone. I even have like where is it? Uh, uh, a a copic sketch of this tone <laughs> to to in order to uh, keep in mind that I have one because with other skin tones uh, it blends very well. So it's a good way to. I haven't got uh, any anime I'm watching at the moment, and never never tried Full Metal Alchemist. Should I watch it? So we figured out. Yes. Yeah, the 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 uh, anime still has a different pacing than the manga, so yeah. maybe the manga is even better. So yeah, if you're more into reading manga, I also would suggest the manga. And if you're more into anime, you should try those. If you watch Brotherhood first, be prepared to be confused for at least five to six episodes. If you watch the original first, you will get the hang of it it's very, very quickly. Like It starts out with like two episodes somewhere in the middle that feel, feel a bit, little bit like filler at, uh, uh, like in retrospect, but it kind of starts you from the beginning, whereas Brotherhood always... See on one hand, Brotherhood seems like you should already know what's happening, so they're kind of like glossing over things. But on the other hand, it, like it happens three or four times in a row that they explain like this most basic, obvious stuff over and over again. Oh, he can't. He can do transmutation without using circles, and then t two minutes later, it's brought up again. It's like oh, it kind of like watching it now, mm. uh, more than ten years later, or like ten years later. It sometimes seems like shitty writing, which you don't get in the manga, but it's still entertaining as hell, so do watch it. Uh, in terms of which one is better, I like both. I think I would say Brotherhood is a little bit better, which probably has more to do with the fact that it's the second format Alchemist they're doing, so obviously the second one's gonna be better than the first one, because they learned a ton of shit on the first one. But... Uh, I still like the first one. Lots of people shit on the first one because it starts to deviate from the manga. I still think it's entertaining. I think it's, it's good. Um, yeah, we might have some audio issues every once in a while. I try to periodically check the audio, but um, could happen every once in a while. I hope most of the time it's fine with, with the audio. Um, how can you get that dark blue for the hair? I have color pencil and I tried so hard and I couldn't get it. Dark blue for the hair. Maybe Roy Mustang? Because that's Mustang. the only one who has dark blue hair here on this one. Uh, I can just yeah. show you like a very... But I have to say it's a little bit darker on camera than it is in reality. So, yeah. so, so like a good thing, still a very, like a, a tip, a very good tip, is if you have darker hair or very, yeah, black hair, see where it's there. Yeah. And you have like a very dark area. You color that and yeah, it's very dark. Let it dry a bit. And on top of it, you can use a white pencil and it will be very much like a tone, tinted paper. So you can add good shadows to it. That's what I did here. I mean, I can try and paint on the, uh, draw on this uh, print and just... Oh. Like this is some way to do it. Of course, like in the beginning, I was modeling that first with um, with uh, the markers, and um, then afterwards doing the details with pencils. But yeah, that, that's like one way, a, a good trick in order to to achieve like a good good result. There you go. That's the kind of quick problem solving question answer things you get. On this on the stream. When is the stream going to end? At some point, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. We, know. Well, we are going to go into a break in a, in in like two or three minutes. Um, it's getting really hot up here. It's really getting up because now with the lights on and stuff. But that's what we suffer for you uh, through for you guys. Um, Lauvan should continue that drawing guys tutorial. I was waiting for the next one so badly. All right. I, I... More guy tutorial. Might do the, the, the different angle version where you have mm. like a quarter portrait. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. I think a lot of people asked for that in the comments. Um, so how many copics do you have? 
Uh, in total? In total, not just here. Like they have, have, have so much here. like double, like I have uh, <laughs> twice of them because they tend to go empty and I don't have money enough uh, enough money for buying every single refill thing like this one. Do you have They're less or more than 100? I think more than 100. Okay. Because once I, I bought another set and, and inside of those boxes there are 72, I think. And uh, yeah, probably like, yeah. Over 100, I guess. But again, like not 100 different shades. They are just. I think I have already here, like, uh, there's another C1 tone, so we have two of them in, all, in case one goes empty. And uh, yeah. So yeah. All right. So the, the, the good thing about using pencils is even afterwards you can still use a marker on top of it. So we don't really have to wait until everything uh, is ready or done already but I think I'm going to to black out those um, little panel slits <laughs> sometimes I catch myself like staring at, at, at the screen like oh man I wish I could zoom in more <laughs> there you go nice Nice. They're actually way darker than they appear on camera because it... Like, the light shines yeah, on the them. Yeah, the pencil there. reflects. So uh, they're, actually, they're actually the same shade of darkness already. Yes, it is a church, but I'm very sorry. <laughs> we live in a town that has the word church in its name and I can't help it. I'm going to close the window just for a few minutes. Okay, let's ramp that temperature up to 70 degrees. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Fuego, my guys. <laughs> oh yeah, earlier somebody asked about uh, whether there would be more on Couch Boys. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to do that. Yeah, yeah maybe at some I mean, we do stream sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I we... could stream my golfing sessions on the Couch Boy channel instead of my own Twitch channel. I don't know if people would love that, but... That would need him with that because I'm not gonna be couch boy by myself but we are going to maybe use it in the future for like some fun uh, one-off videos like some stuff that would never ever see the light on day on the official like album. cooking so, videos yeah like a cooking video maybe <laughs> we're gonna do a cooking video on the couch boys channel if you don't know what we're talking about just uh, on YouTube search for couch boys play uh, you'll figure it out <laughs> Belchan just wanted to be noticed. Hello, Belchan. Belchan wants to be noticed like five fucking times a day. <laughs> I've noticed Belchan, believe me. Can see you, Belchan. My subconscious has noticed Belchan in the morning when I try to sleep. Funny thing is, I live near a church also. <laughs> yeah, you live. Yeah, you live even directly, closer. It's directly. So fucking loud. On the other street, yeah. Yeah. On the other side. How do you draw tears? I'm not sure whether that was a genuine question. I would, I would actually like let my own tears drop. Yeah, onto the paper. you have to, you have to use the real deal, so uh, yeah. otherwise it won't get that much emotion converted. Yeah. Okay, people seem excited about a cooking video. We got a ton of rec recipes to go through, especially cocktail recipes. Yeah, cocktails. I, I would love some. <laughs> <laughs> I might do well, maybe some. Well, we are going into a break. Uh, whenever you feel like you should, uh, and there you began working <laughs> on a new area, so we can't go. Yeah. Oh, and this why is you one there? Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna go into a little break, and maybe you can make one. But yeah, we, we would, I would, I could see myself doing a cooking video. I mean, we gotta clean the kitchen first. I don't want to show my kitchen off in the current state, but yeah, we we can shoot one. I'm also still in the darkness. Let me move backwards a little bit. Here we, here I am. <laughs> Oh, this one was too light, need a darker one. Yeah. Copy marker has a lot of switching colors. Bake a cake. Bake, bake a cake. Bake me a cake. Bake, bake me a cake. You should, yeah, you should bake a marble cake, because not just for the channel, I'd really mm. love one of your marble cakes again. It's been a while. Oof. Uh, there are roughly 
yeah, huge number of churches in my town are far enough away, but I hear the neighbors chicken all the time. Chicken sounds cool. Until you're like five days in and then it doesn't sound cool anymore. <laughs> Maybe we can cook something now for dinner. Believe me, I've done that. Like, more than a year ago, I actually made some dinner while we were streaming. It was really loud and it really didn't go over well with the audience, so I'm no, never going no, to no. repeat that. Uh, but we got like s snacks around. We got like Good old fünf Minuten Terrine. Yeah, Maggi. Not sponsored, not sponsors yet, but would love to. Please, give us, give us a call. Echo, do you have your own channel? Sorry, new sub. Actually, yes, I do. And if you, uh, there's this little icon up here. If you're on mobile, you need to tap the video once first. There is a, like a little information icon. It's like a little eye, and if you click that, it will pop up and link you all. Like among other things, it's gonna show you my channel. So yes, I do have one. It's all music on there. Music and very light shit posting every once in a while. <laughs> Which actually reminds me, maybe uh, after the break or within the next hour, I'm gonna do a uh, raffle for uh, for the music for my music for one of my albums, which you would otherwise need to pay for unless you're <laughs> on Spotify. <laughs> so let me know whenever you're ready to go into a break, mm -hmm. into a commercial break. So our sponsors like Fünf Minuten Terrina and Stabilo can uh, show their commercials. Stabilo. I'm hoping that by mentioning them, like some uh, speech-to-text algorithm in YouTube is like, oh, they're talking about these brands. Let's show those commercials. <laughs> and the CPM skyrockets and we can finally afford that new webcam. Oh, yeah. My Echo keeps responding to your name. Hey, Echo. Please order me Lavan's art book from Amazon. <laughs> You're very cheeky. <laughs> okay, Ziri. Play Echolox on iTunes. Oh, no, wait. It's Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. <laughs> uh, to get to the brown shade. Where is it? Uh, that's what I meant. Like, with the... Ah, quick page. Okay, Google. Does Lavan look like Jacksepticeye? My phone responded. Here is a matching video. Here's a matching video. What kind of video could that be? Escape from Lavender Town, right in the childhood. Okay, it's just spitting out Jacksepticeye videos. All right, nothing I do, about you. Do do a risky move and do oh. the do the brown shade that we got here. Um, there. And I did this. Uh, I noticed this copy paper is different than the one I had there. Um, but it should be should be possible. So, uh, giving it a light touch of the blender, and then slightly adding color, and trying to blend them in. Right. This already is uh, it's a bit helpful to to set your your tonal value since the tone isn't really. Um, the church bell is gone. Oh, yeah. Not very that dark, but it still looks dark. So I need to to deepen the the metallic shadows still. Next time, next stream, we're gonna have the AC on again. Yeah. I, I also like I'm oozing. Oh. <laughs> Now you're gonna get some Lavan oozing fan art. I, I'm little La Lavan dash oozing dot jpeg. Isn't it like little Uzi? Isn't it that a uh, rapper or something? Little, there's probably some little Uzi somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Give me that metal. Give me that shiny metal boy. So, uh, talk me through the yellow shade in the reflection. Um, since we got like the, the rocks right here, mm -hmm. I, I thought it might be a good way to add like another color to it that's, that looks like it's reflecting or something. Or at some point it, it, it reflects the rocks or matches the overall mm -hmm. thing there. So, yeah, that, that was why I added it. I wasn't really sure if I liked it uh, the first time I did it, but I got so used to it, so I just had to do it again. 
Somebody uh, rightly uh, brings up the point that you are wearing two shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get rid of it. But I don't want to strip here, so just wait until the break, then I just wear the other one. <laughs> so after the break, Lavan will have undressed slightly. <laughs> slightly undressed. <laughs> Furious copic switching. Yeah. I can tell you already that his fingertips are already uh, stained by some of the markers. Are they? Yeah, I can see some red there. Doesn't look on purpose. I can see some of it like under the palm of your hand. Ah, okay. Collateral damage that just happens. It's so weird that it's so hot in Germany. In Italy here, it's not that hot and we're closer to the equator. Yeah, that is weird, but that's weather for you. Let me let me, uh, let me me find out what, what the temperature is. What's the temperature? Let's have a guest appearance by uh, on Google. It's 23 degrees in Galston Curtain right oh, now. Oh, that's it. 23 degrees. It feels like 30 up here. Yeah, it does. Every time you take a break, Lao strips a little more. <laughs> we gotta stop the face cam then. <laughs> Lao's upper arm is unseen by the world. Alright. Yeah, uh, you would be shocked by that biceps. What biceps? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, you can do a little break. Okay, we're gonna take a short break. And uh, get some fresh air in here, get some snack going. And uh, what's up then? More Alphonse? Yeah. Chest Doing plate. This thing. More, more Alphonse. Yeah. I also can do the background. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm we'll open see. to it. I'm open. Yeah. Okay. So right. uh, see you in a few minutes. Where's the BRB? There it is. Having long hair. <laughs> what is it about having long hair? It's 
one. And we are back in three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> big surprise. It's still a picture. It's a big surprise. Who are those? What are those? What are those? Damn it. I, I know it's not the paper that's different. It's just this marker yeah. that's having a hard time. And yes, I know 23 degrees Celsius isn't technically really hot until you live on the top floor, got a computer running a stream, got some lights here and two people breathing the same air. Then it gets quite hot. I could get my uh, my thermometer from the from the fridge and see how how much it heats up. How do you, uh, how long do you wait to put another layer of watercolor, and how long do you wait till that dries smoothly? Do you have any solution for an impatient person? Be more patient. Be more patient. The, the, it's, they, it's, they, you gotta wait until it's dry. Yeah, That's, it's it's really not. You can use a hair dryer, although you have to be careful because a hair dryer might blow your colors in directions you don't want it to be, but uh, that's just the hard part of it. It's At least you're not using oils. That would be like a different time we're talking about, so... Um, yeah. It's not that long with with watercolors, so should should be should be okay. That was a quick break. Yeah, we always take quick breaks, but we uh, tend. I've started enforcing taking breaks more often because uh, streams do wear you down. I mean, at least him. I don't need to really do much here. <laughs> I really don't even want to know what it has to be uh, like being him on a live stream. And hey, I'm. I'm at least I'm busy. <laughs> okay, I guess. So. I mean, I wish I already feel exhausted after streaming like golf for I don't know two hours. I mean, yeah, the exhaust, this comes later. At the mm. moment, it's okay. How difficult is it to get sponsored? I thought it was easy. And no, 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 I mean, no. Where? Why? No. Why would you think that's easy? No. I mean, yes, we could do a lot of sponsored videos if we accepted every sponsorship we got through email. But let's be honest, no, 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 no. Not, not the kind. Like, I, I would. You then, can get all kinds of random sponsorships, but the ones that are worthwhile, it's no. Yeah. There were ones for 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 watches or something. Yeah. Or like for really for Dell Dell inside the build stuff. So they are not even personalized. They're just yeah. asking. Yeah. And when it comes to like actual like big sponsorships or like sp the sponsored video that the videos that we do. I mean, yeah, they happen from time to time. If you're on the radar of those brands, that will happen. But uh, also, gotta be honest, it's not like we're looking out for those every like every corner. We're yeah. like, um, we we could be chasing them more, but eh. it's also <laughs> it's very difficult sometimes yeah. to do videos. So yeah. <laughs> I just want to do like more of the the the, the stuff that's important to me, than, rather than just reviewing tablet after tablet. Yeah. And, yeah, like the review videos are one of those. Like we, we could do, do two reviews a month if we accepted every piece of gear that yeah. some company wants to send us. But really, who wants to do that? And also, who wants to watch that? That's mm -hmm. some point really. What paper are you? Oh, what paper are you using? Okay, but also, what paper are you? If you were paper, what kind of paper would you be? I think I would be uh, a cotton paper, very soft. Cotton. Mm. <laughs> Texture or no High texture? High quality. No, texture, no, no all texture. Smooth. No, all, all smooth. smooth. Shaved. <laughs> oh, God, please Nate, give me the next question here. Sorry. <clears throat> Guys, when will you do another tutorial for anatomy? I'm really suck at those and also the hands. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So ne plant next is definitely the, the, the gouache thing and the... Um, whew. Uh, the uni university thing, mm -hmm. where I uh, have the script almost done, but uh, yeah, anatomy comes probably next. Then it's it's okay. Like I, I know how to do these at least. So someone in the chat saying I would be hot press paper. Hot press paper, yeah, hot press. You have to have a very cold soul to be cold press. And somebody else saying a shitty paper. Come on, you don't you don't intentionally want to be the shitty paper. I mean, hey, you you can decide what paper you are, so don't 
don't pick, don't even think about picking the shitty one. It's not that you have to buy yourself. Yeah, Lavan's hot press paper then. Which brand? The one that calls us first about a sponsorship. <laughs> I would be 300 grams textured because I'm thick. Thick. And 300 grams are all purpose, so... Mm -hmm. Very versatile. Yep, and we're here again. I'd be tissue. <laughs> I would be shoe. A South Park Sh reference. Oh yeah, I'm, I got you. Shin got Pokemon. You. Alright. Throwing this one away. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, paper. I'd be the paper on the floor that nobody uses anymore. <laughs> I'd like be the, the one the one that you smudged some colors on to test them but you don't really use. I, I I'd be the dank one. The dank paper. Yeah. Do you think you could do a piece of art with only nail polishes? Well probably you can do that, but I haven't tried it, so have no experience with this. Oh yeah, I I get, just got reminded because uh, the part of the song where my friend's choir comes in. Huh. I wanted to uh, give away a download code. I wanted to give away a download code for my music. But how am I going to do that? Just how am I going to do that? Am I going to ask a question again? Am I going to ask a Laovan trivia question and see who gets it first? Trivia seem, question. Seem, seems like a good idea to to ask a Lavan trivia question, but it, oh, it's always hard to come up with just the perfect amount of, of obscure knowledge about this dude. Uh... Hmm. Do you like Tageshi Obata style? Yes. So it's not my favorite, but I I, uh, I used to learn from it. I guess I, I had the Death Note mangas at my place and I tried, I, I mean I like Takeshi Obata and Hikaru no Go more than in Death Note hmm. because Hikaru looks way uh, more manga-ish than like Death Note sometimes look very realistic regarding the faces of the people and Hikaru ha still had those big eyes and stuff like that and mm -hmm. made it very um, approachable as a kid so I have I know which question I'm gonna ask. So, I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put a question into the chat. Why am I gonna put it into the chat? Because that way, no matter what latency you're on with the video, which is different because some people are further away, they gotta they hook up to other servers. Some people saw more ads than others, so I'm gonna put this question in the chat. Whoever gets it first, according to my chat, which might also like lag. Um, I'm gonna give away a download of my EP Letters, which uh, has some songs that you're listening to right now, if you want to or not. I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna put the question in the chat, I'm gonna type it out now, um, and uh, see if it gets it first. And while I'm typing that, do you like Yusuke Murata's style? I have no idea who that okay, is. Okay, then I need another question. <laughs> um... Takeshi Obata got a new manga called Platinum End and Bakuman. Yeah, oh, yeah, Bakuman, yeah. I've seen the, the, the cover that sparkles. In Germany, the cover sparkles. Oh, I actually heard one of the audio glitches just now, but it wasn't too bad. It was just like a little break. Oh, he's, he's filling, he's doing the... Uh, yeah, I don't have a, a yeah. refill for yeah, for, you, for this tone, so I just mixed. don't do it over the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that it's like I, I now mixed C three, so cool gray mm -hmm. three, with a blender fluid uh, in order to get C one a lighter tone. I hope that will work. Okay, I got a question for you to answer while I'm typing this out. So why did you color the first layer of the pants with that specific green? Um, because in, in, some, in, in, this, in an official artwork I've seen the pants are green. And I know sometimes I really tend to um, 
go too far with shading in order to that it still has this greenish undertone i i did that as some kind of an underpainting if you want it's really uh um all that is about like I, I i assume that it's going to be that dark that you won't really see it in the end after all but um yeah that's the reason behind it do you like tita kubo's style mm, not not is not no no nah. it's 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 too rough for my taste <laughs> it's really rough um I, I can see why you would like it, but I'm not that fan of it. Okay, so I put my question in the chat and we got answers and we got a winner. So the question I picked was, which shipping name won in the poll an hour ago? <laughs> <laughs> so see if people will pay attention. It's like they do on those uh, news shows where they, they, they have you uh, answer questions at the end. That you can call and answer questions at the end, but if you haven't watched till the beginning, yeah. you don't know. Which kind of boosts the uh, the ratings. So um, the first three to answer ex actually all had a typo in there, which disqualifies them. And Ooh. the winner of the download code of the EP is Focus on Salem. Oh, congratulations! Very very close. Very somebody else came close without a typo, but before that there were three typos. So I can't let you in. I'm sorry. Um, now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna need you to send me a message on my channel, Ecolox. Just send me a message and then I can send it to you. I can send you the reply because I'm in the chat now. It's hard to like figure out the channel and then send you just so, or email me, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. I, I'll mail you it after the, uh, after the stream. Um, so for everyone else who couldn't win, I'm, I'm sorry. Thank, thank you a lot for participating, though. Um, you can still get the album on Bandcamp, but if you don't, if you don't want to pay, if you don't feel like paying for it, it's on Spotify. Who cares? It's on Spotify. Okay, back to the uh, back to the art stuff. Um, okay, do you like Asano Inyo's work? I have no idea. No idea. Maybe what manga? That yeah, is, so probably go probably more by the manga. The manga. I, yeah. I know like a few ones that Yana are. Yana Tosobo. No, I have. I don't recall yeah. it. Hayao Miyazaki. No, uh, the, the the Ghibli, Ghibli one. Yeah. I respect it, but I don't. I I would never try to achieve that look. I guess. Yusuke Murata is the illustrator for One Punch Man. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I liked what he did with Genos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. He did well with Genos. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I don't know that much, and like I'm more of the old school things. Like mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Shaman King was a big inspiration. Oh, shame on you, Naruto. <laughs> And I'm not sure if you ever heard of that manga. It's very Naruto like is very obscure, underground. Yeah, it's very yeah. underground. Can't, can't really do something with that. But uh, you want some of this? No, it's, it's, it's the secret link of yeah. the day. It's Naruto. What is this even? Is this some kind of art book? Can you see there? This some. Is is this some of this? That's some of this. You can find this beautiful piece of work. This beautiful art book with. Let me let me take a look again. How many pages it has? So, excluding the last page, which only has some credits, we are looking at 140 pages. 139 pages of art. This thing is great value. Like, let's be honest, this thing has wonderful art in it. Still find myself browsing through it every once in a while, even though I've probably been there for most of these <laughs> while they were being made. Um, I cannot recommend it enough. You can find it on his Etsy shop. And uh, along with other stuff, so while you're there, you might actually grab something else and uh, sh save on shipping, as uh, as as it happens. Uh, just just you know, a little recommendation from my side. Nothing nothing to do with him or anything. I'm not being forced to do this, and I'm not being paid to do this. 
I mean, that's correct. Both of these are true. Uh, I sometimes even <laughs> um, surprise myself. <laughs> you need to call me. <laughs> Send you my PayPal link. Um, okay, l let's go through some more names because people keep uh, naming... Uh, yeah. I was about to say drawers. Drawers. <laughs> By uh, Ikea or something. And, and misters. Um, so, where are we? Where are you? Where are you there? Ah, do you like Banzabo style? Yeah, yeah. I I, I um bought the the the, the first one mm -hmm. and the second one. Oh. But I haven't read it so far. It's still on my list. I mm -hmm. I've read the one of her sister. Um, and I liked it very much. I'm a huge horror fan, and it's good. It's good. Um. So mm -hmm. what to do next? Will it be a Dokumi this year? Yes, we will both yeah. be there. And oh, I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah, and it's going to be three days now, right? Yeah. Oh my god, my favorite convention and we're doing it 1.5 times longer. Yes. Yes, waited for that. I'm going to need Wi-Fi though this time. Yeah. All right, let's go in for the trousers. Ooh, look at <laughs> the that apps. green. The apps. Oh yeah, give me the apps. Not done yet, but um, okay. oh wait, let, let, just because like okay, it's still uh, skin is more interesting. Yeah. So I just I just do it first the skin tone since okay. it's a large area. Maybe <laughs> it's also helpful to do that in the stream um, rather than now just spending time on on the creases and every detail. So oh. do you know the French manga Radiant? Yes. <laughs> In, in the German publication, yeah. I did a fan it for it in the in the, in yeah. the second if, if book. You, yeah, if you buy the second uh, yeah book of it in Germany, he he's got a place in there. We we know the uh, I was about to say label. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we know the guy, the publisher here in Germany. We know him, yeah. so yeah. So yeah, that, that's what you call in Germany vitamin B. Yeah, but he also did a, a contest, so it was mm. it was open for everyone. All right. Mm -hmm. All righty then. I refill first the actual thing before I mm -hmm. run out of fuel mm -hmm. in the first. Okay. Show us how you refill it <laughs> again. Like, probably bring it up close so I can. Well, no, mm -hmm. no, we have like some. <laughs> have to be careful. Yeah. Bring it up close. Up, up, up to the. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Look at that ASMR. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sure some kind of like visual AI algorithm on YouTube is gonna tag uh, uh, tag us now with some. I just thought like stuff. like demonetize. This, there is like so much uh, random uh, yoification. Like this is this is this is uh, bottle, bottle coon and 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 uh, copic chan chan. Yeah. <laughs> Got a feeling. Mm. Gotta add more U to the coon. 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 Uh, are you going to VidCon? No. No, no we're if in Germany. They invited us? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's too far away. It's. Nah. And. I don't even know what we would do there, honestly. I was doing this one. We're not the kind of people who like film vlogs, so. You, we would probably go there and come back and say. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Yeah. And then we'd have about $2,000 left in our. Uh, uh, less in our bank accounts. Yeah. Also, like, I don't even know. Can you talk, actually talk to someone there? Like, the, 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 the people that you admire, is it? Or is it just yeah, like... Yeah, they, they free roam there if they want to. Yeah, I mean, in, in Germany, it's like you buy a ticket to get an autograph. That's... Yeah, sure, they will probably also have those kinds of booths. But I assume that lots of, lots of them are just going to walk around and... Uh, All right. At least that's what I gathered from from lots of people. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn on the lights again because I'm enveloped in darkness and I'm not that edgy anymore. Okay, so I wait and, and so we can no, you adjust. Can, you, you can yeah, but we want to adjust it, oh, don't we? No, 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 we don't need to. It's not gonna add too much light to. You think so? What? See? Uh, okay. But it helps me be visible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's do this. I'm a bit excited since. Um, yeah, giant space like this is always a bit more difficult. So, Royo Mastangu. Mm -hmm. He's a... 
he's a hot guy. Mm hmm. He's got this inner flame. He's got this burning passion for justice. Oh, he does. He's also kind of flaming every once in a you while. You really have to focus at this moment. Because you might ruin it any second. It's. Every time I'm looking at him, I get that burning sensation. He's ignited something in me. What, Roy? I'm running out of fire puns. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now you have a light, but you hide behind, hide behind the mic. I need that thing closed. And I set it up so I need to talk into it like this. Um, so it won't pick me up that much from here. And that's not good. Alright. So, we have a little few stuff that's not so nice, but we can work with it. Roy Mustang is a is dead sexy in a miniskirt. Hmm. And now I'm thinking, is there ever a scene where he actually wears one? I don't think so, so... Is there some fan art out there that I don't know of? If yes, submit it, if it's yours. <laughs> Maybe that person actually drew him in a miniskirt and was like, huh, that kind of looks good. I need to report back to, Want to, to mention the Love on stream so they know that he looks good in a miniskirt. Have you watched or heard of the anime Amnesia? Might have heard of it, but... I only know the game. Can't. But probably doesn't have anything to do with it. Are you using Bristol pot board paper? Probably because you got this in the background. Oh, uh, no, it's no, no Bristol board is just yeah. stronger paper, ah, okay, I guess. Okay, I but uh, no, it's uh, just the usual office paper. And it's really like... Uh, with those larger areas, you really have to rely on, on your pencil mm -hmm. skills afterwards because it's really like uh, a frightening thing to color. Mm -hmm. Ah, <coughs> sorry. Hmm? Uh, the miniskirt thing uh, is from an interview with the English voice actor of Edward. So it's basically an inside joke of the oh. cast or something, or it came up in an interview at least. So it is technically canon. So now I'm still wondering, have people drawn that? And do we want to see? Most likely. <laughs> so let me try something real quick here. Just because it's fun. The French has 17 different words for surrender or something. You go on the Discord. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to the people on the live stream. Hello. 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 Did you like my stick figure? Yes. <laughs> so if you want to join these beautiful, wonderful people, um, you should join our Discord server. It, the link is in the description. And you can join it, and you can sh talk about art there, share your art, talk about lots of other stuff, talk about anything you want. And um, I'm going to quickly browse through, see if we got enough art. Yeah, we do have enough art submissions to warrant another oh, no. scroll through very soon. <laughs> but um, we're going to wait until the top of the hour to do that. So mm -hmm. after the next break, which will be in about 20 minutes, then we're going to do... A second but possibly last round for today of art submissions so if oh, you yeah. got one get it in now if it's work in progress get it in now still um, so since I, I, I yeah. somewhat want to achieve like more quicker results it's yeah sometimes really distracting then uh, because I want to yeah. look at those as well but so I'm, I'm we're, we're more gonna uh, scroll through them <laughs> and yeah I think eventually it, it will just happen that during the streams we can just like have them scroll through but not really talk about them much yeah. I was looking into at some point writing a software or something to just have them appear automatically whenever mm. somebody posts them 
but I do need some kind of review process, or otherwise people will inject just ev anything into the stream. But yeah. yeah, but yeah, at the top of the hour after the next break, we'll have more submissions for you guys from you guys for you. So it's not that clean, but we Ooh. still have pencils. <laughs> oh. So I just need it a bit to dry down. No, they don't have the art submissions don't have to be Laovan related. The theme today is just fan art in general. Um, lots of times people send in their OCs, and I'm pretty sure we've also had uh, OC as a theme at some point. But today it's more or less the exact opposite. Today it's only fan arts. Can you do another stream where you finish the drawing? Ooh. Not sure if that many people are then coming back to watch it, rather than just having a new topic. That's the problem with everything that you split in two parts. Yeah, like. yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, it needs to dry down a bit. But yeah, now, now the magic of, of pencils. Already can see it here. Uh, why am I seeing Australian AU currency on his originals and print shop? Because Etsy automatically converts it for you to make it easier for you. We we put them in in euros, but it then calculates it for you. Do you attend the Academy of Düsseldorf? No. <laughs> I, oh, very strict no, very clear no. No, I just know, like, most people at my uni want to go there um, at certain points when they don't want to become a teacher anymore. Um, but I, a friend of mine uh, went there and she said it's like the same stuff that she had to go through as I did with my university. So they are very similar in that regard. So I don't, I don't assume that I would like it there. But I also assume that I wouldn't be respected there. <laughs> Which is like why I wouldn't want to go there. Here's a comment that I really like. I'm always amazed by the amount of hairstyles Lao Van can pull off with the same hair. <laughs> like every few minutes I look over to you and I, because I agree with them, it's like yeah. you could look completely different. Alright. <laughs> In a good way. It's mm -hmm. like very versatile headwear. <laughs> yeah, it's very long. Need to get it cut at certain point. <laughs> but yeah, you can you can definitely see that um, huh. pencil do their thing. It's a very helpful tool, even though you screwed up. Do you prefer some? Colored pencils over others in terms of brands, or do you just use what's available to you? Um, so the polychromos are usually like good, so you can't really say anything bad about it. Mm -hmm. um, in Germany, Germany, there's like a brand that's uh, retailed by um, what is it? Um, a discounter, and they are very cheap. Uh, for three euro fifty cents, you get like. 36 um, pencils and they are just as good so yeah that, that's what I can say about that face cams covers the song name yeah I had some issues with the thing that usually puts the same song name automatically in there so I covered it up because if I if I drag this up it says nothing right now, but it would say 14, which is wrong. Um, if you're asking at the moment, so uh, right now it's playing in many places at once from my album live stream. Uh, just check out, it's even easier, I usually send people to my Bandcamp, but just go to echolox.com 
and all my music is on there. It's like on one big page, so you can click on any song and just click through. But you notice, next <laughs> time I'm gonna f fix it again. I don't know what's wrong. I, it's been so long since we've streamed, I don't even know what part of my software does not work here and why it's not displaying the song name. Um, what's a good way to blend Copics? Any tips? Lavan. Um, first, paper. So, so we can we can try something. Um, I'm not sure if it works, but uh, still. And also, somebody in also mentioned he's putting layer after layer. That's crazy. You're yeah. crazy. <laughs> I'm You're crazy, crazy person. What are you doing? Mm. So, um, something that like really a great thing of, of uh, office paper or rather like what I like about Cobix the most is when you um, have like let's say this little violet triangle and then you want to um, I don't know do like a light on it and it's usually what people normally would do would be um, painting over it and then it doesn't really work. Uh, so, so you have like a mixture, like overlap of that tones. But the thing is, once you are persistent enough, it's like with a blender, the yellow tone actually can push away enough color to appear here and there again. Which makes it really um, cool for, for shadow tones. So for example, um, this place right here, I colored this solid yellow and then I used a blue, a light blue tone and, and rubbed it up here. So um, you have this pretty transition things going on there. And it's like something, again, with watercolors as well, you have to figure it out at some points um, because you need to be very uh, secure about what you're doing. But once you've done that, it's like... Um, what is it called? Like you, you can repeat it at any point. Um, you seem to have said triangle at some point when you meant square. Square, yeah. I don't. I. I. I yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So it's I, getting hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> we blame it on the heat. Sorry. Everything this is, can happen. Yeah. Because the chat's going crazy. What triangle? My, my mind is <laughs> not working. No, but but you get the idea. Like with Marcus, you have some some cool. Yeah. Possibilities. It's also like with, with this, like it's already dried mm -hmm. down, and I, I could use a blue one and then do some some tones here. And as you can see, like you can immediately work from that point on and and have some creases work because it's like very um, yeah. It, it gives you some orientation in a way, even though you just maybe just. Uh, have spilled something or anyway you could work on that someone's right blame it on the alcohol fumes alcohol. <laughs> yeah um will you ever drum of so uh, drum <laughs> will you ever draw some of your fans original characters um yeah if, like i i wouldn't have that much time to accept commissions or stuff like that but i have on on patreon like the the ten dollar goal is that people suggest Characters, they're like it's a monthly commission away, and I raffle from the the um, entries one entry, and then I draw it. So last month somebody said like draw Edward Eric from Full Metal Alchemist, and we now yeah, I did it, and then I thought like well the, 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 that is like you can possibly get more out of it, and so it, it evolved into something more. But usually I just draw the character, and yeah. There is also possible to choose OCs and stuff like that. And but on the ordinary, like doing commissions, is uh, because like I have some so much to do. I want to do a comic book, and even there, it's hard to find any time. So <laughs> challenge for Lavan: draw a manga girl with Copics and do it live. Drawing a girl would be even a bad thing to do because it would look as a boy, like a boy, I guess. <laughs> That's the challenge. I would need to have tons of challenge. tons of references to get that yeah. done. Um, like there was a question earlier that 
I know it. <laughs> the more time passes, the more Echo becomes his Dark Link cosplay. <laughs> Need more darkness around me. <laughs> why are you rubbing the drawing? Um, there's a white uh, pencil head on the drawing. And from my view, I don't, I'm not sure if it's in the camera, but I can see the, the single, single lines that I do. So you're smudging them. I'm smudging lines. them, yeah, that's why I rub it. And with the finger, sometimes you have like uh, a grease or something on it. So to be more careful, I use, use some tissue. But I have to say, like with this, uh, like with the original one, it wasn't that bad that I had to do, use that much pencil. Just yeah. like I, I noticed I went a bit too dark, yeah. and so I tried to rescue that what I still got there. Do you prefer to draw on white paper or tan paper? And what is the name of the paper that you use for watercolor? Mm, I like to use on work on white paper. Um, just because I do it rather often and with ten paper you have to have like an idea that you have to use gouache or like white paint to get the highlights correct and with white paper yeah it's just what I'm most used to but um, with watercolor I I'm not even sure like I don't ha I haven't seen ten watercolor paper so I, I really can't say much about it I usually have used <laughs> the, the, the ordinary type. Um, but the favorite one is probably the ARC... Um, what is it called? Like the hot press by ARC. Mm. Ar Arches, Arches. Uh, Arches, yeah. yeah. Somebody was wondering whether you always... Like, that's a very specific question here. Whether you always draw male manga characters standing. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of you where they weren't standing. Yeah, I like, and that's not an innuendo. Although what you're thinking right now is part of that, yes. Yeah, no, there there, there are some where I would draw them sitting or I don't know, like there there are different kinds of yeah. themes, just depending on what you do. Like it's just on this one, it made sense for yeah, you to be standing to, to have like yeah. a long figure that uh, yeah leads you to the drawing. Uh, can you list the colors of pencils you are using? There will be plenty. Um, so the the colors I've used so far, um, I can show. Maybe you. Maybe I can. Maybe you don't need to because I can read them from here. This one is Robin's Egg Blue. Oh, this is the Copic mark. I thought oh, the pencils. Were. Okay, maybe yeah. The pencils okay, are just those two. Like the last one, it's called uh, White. Oh, <laughs> very creative. This name. one is Light Flash. And this one is medium flash. Nice. So they they were pretty, uh, yeah. Self-explanatory in terms. Yeah, of there's not not that nah. much creativity and not like those yeah. things. Like it's what is it? Holiday blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there any part of the human body that you struggle with drawing? Yeah, hands. Um, I mean, again, like that's why they. If you watch the stream after, like you can skip there. I, I showed the app. Um, that's great for hands, um, but uh, yeah, I, I still need references every time. There's nothing that um, comes out easily with that. Uh, feet, because you draw them rarely. Um, the apps. <laughs> uh, also, like every time I, I think, well, how would you do that? Um, I have uh, uh, developed a certain technique or a certain way to do it, but uh, I don't want like it always that it looks the same as always so i want to have some variety to it and yeah there are some parts that i struggle with um next round of art submissions and possibly the last round for today will happen in i would say about 10 minutes so in five minutes or so we're gonna go into a little break again and after that it's time for art submissions so it's not gonna be long and as I said, it will probably be the last round, so uh, get your stuff in if you're working on something right now. We accept work in progress, just, just get in. I've never seen an uncensored version of any of Lao's BL drawings. You can find them on Tumblr. I was about to say, they don't exist, but apparently they do. 
What do you use to outline your art? And please, wait, wait, please yeah. don't ask me how my name is on Tumblr. I think you can uh, guess that. Yeah, don't <laughs> ask. <a> <laughs> uh, what was it? Um, what do you use to outline your art? Um, normally I use a, a Copic Multiliner or some kind of stuff like that, like a uh, waterproof uh, fine liner. Um, usually 0 0.05 millimeters, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's the, the, the stuff. But right now I use pencils. And I also use um, color pencils sometimes for watercolor drawings. Because having like a little... Um, the, the possibility to edit like some tones of it and make the transi transitions easier. It's uh, never like bad to have some... <laughs> Good pencils there. Can I see the back of the paper? Just wondering how much is bleeding through. Oh, yeah. Or just wondering how much bleeding through is normal. People actually have requested this earlier. So usually it bleeds everything it. bleeds through. Whoa, that's a lot. Um, I mean, hey, I, I threw it's basically away. the same thing, but without the outlines. <laughs> yeah. So this was the paper that was underneath, and. Uh, I wish now I had the original uh, drawing. So this is yeah, just the print. So I can I can do stuff like 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 this, and it's it's a print. But um, there the the back side is fully colored. Mm -hmm. I think your chat is catching up because I just turned it on again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping to show you a message so I wouldn't have to pronounce whatever it is they're asking about about some certain types of pencils. Wait, what's it? Um, wait a second. I can't find it. <laughs> Just keep drawing. I'm okay. looking for them. Ah, there it is. This this one by Captain Orr. If you try it, Karen Dash. Uh, Caran Dash luminance pencil. I, I think I have yeah. like one pastel pencil, I guess, but I'm not sure. No, I, I, I can't. I, maybe they are. I just like out of um, what is it? Out of um, because it's easier. Hmm. Um, I out of laziness. Yeah. I bought like um, a set of the the polychromos um, because I already had some uh, that I had for school, and after that I thought, yeah, well. They are doing their job and having different tones doesn't doesn't uh, isn't bad. So that's why I got those. I think oh, I assume there there are better ones. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I got a crop again. I mean, also like the uh, oh yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm doing it. the um, polychromos. I I think a bit oily, like they're a bit greasy. Which sometimes is very helpful, but if you like get your hand over it, it smudges. It's not that yeah. nice. What do you prefer, grease or moisture? Moisture. <laughs> I, with grease, I always have to think about that uh, Junji Ito comic, <laughs> that one where where that, that father forces mm. her daughter to drink oil and stuff. Mm. Okay, we're coming up on 8 p.m., so the uh, third hour of the stream is about to draw to a close. So we're going to jump into a short break once again. After that, you will get the last round of art submissions. And uh, people seem to be using this time to jump onto your Tumblr. <laughs> so long as you come back to the stream and don't get too distracted. But before we go into the break, what is your favorite manga movie? Or I guess anime movie and song. Digimon, the first movie. Uh huh. And song. Hmm. Hmm. I, I would say Dotek songs. So so maybe from a Dotek anime or something, but I'm not sure. I just went through your Tumblr. It's good shit. I, I just went through it for a Tumblr. I haven't found what I want, was looking for. <laughs> still, no, no, still no girl. Still no, there's there's girl still there. one, one picture I worked on that I posted on Instagram. I haven't mm. posted it on Tumblr yet um, because it's not done yet. So, um, 
Yeah. You need to do that once in a while. Okay, so we're going to uh, jump into a break now, and after that, it's art submission time. Um, Echo, make some short jokes. Say something funny, Echo. Be the do funny it, man. Do it, do it, do it. Be the funny guy. You don't have enough time left to be. Our not Couch Boys channel has let, uh, recently been called a ripoff of Oni. Yeah, that was funny. That was that was the funny thing. He he said a very funny thing in the comments there. Oh my god, I'm going through a Tumblr. What the fuck is this? Holy crap. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna need a minute for myself here, so... Uh... Oh, you, I don't wanna... Nah, I wanna no, interrupt just, you drawing no, brows. No. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. I just... Yes. Yes. Give him that look. Using the the eyebrow pencils. <laughs> Roy is such a, a beauty blogger. He is. He is. Spends lots of time documenting how he gets those brows to look that way. All right. All right. See you in a few minutes after this Ooh. short break. Yay. So I watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Do you echo? <laughs> no, no, no. I just can't get into it. Oh. Can't get it. I can appreciate it. I cannot get into it. All right, we're back. And we're back. Yeah. So I I'll I got me some white paint um, that I can use to to do some. Oh, come on, some highlights on the eyes to give them life, hunty. So yeah, we'll post drag race. Okay. Um, 
No, but it's actually like sometimes it's really um, adding like soul to a picture to just have like a little white dot there. Also do that in, in this thing already, even though I would probably do that once I'm done with the whole eye, but just since we are not going to stream that long anymore, I'll just keep on. Okay, I've queued up the Discord stream submissions. Mm -hmm. And I already like scrolling through, I already saw one that I know you're gonna enjoy. Okay. Not necessarily because I know I don't even know what the character is, but I know you're gonna enjoy just the drawing itself. So first we got one by Insanity Flame here, which I don't know who that character is. I'm very sorry. Please don't expect me to know it's, them. It's, if you, uh, oh, I you think don't. it's yeah, Phantom Eye from from uh, what is it? Kuro Shitsuji. Okay, <laughs> I don't. No. I, I think at least I saw some cosplays of it. You got a. Samurai in front of a waterfall. Nice, Ooh, nice, nice contrast. And Green Goblin. <laughs> I almost genuinely just know that from one cosplay that's always at Gamescom. Um, here we got Keats from Folklore. Come on, load. There it is. Nice. Also, nice work on the background. Like you, you thought about everything. So here's the one I meant. Gilgamesh from Fate. We got here. Ooh, yeah. He's he's cool. Pretty, pretty good. I, I have seen so many good fan of him. Like, is this one of them? Huh? Is this one of those? Yeah. But uh, it made me want to draw one as well. <laughs> Even though, like, a. Uh, oh, he's from Fate or something like yeah, that. Yeah. I haven't, haven't watched that, but sometimes the design is just awesome. Here's so. a sketch from the new God of War game. Nice one there, Clay. Uh, Grindel, I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, there we go. This is Cass from Book of Six Crows. Yeah, of course books hope, uh, count as fans, so don't worry about that. Hmm. Okay, here we got a quick little Mika, Ensemble Stars, one-up drawing on a small canvas. as a digital painting practice. Oh, nice. I was almost about to say this doesn't even look digital. This looks more traditional because it has some texture on it. So oh yeah, it's a little bit of uh, smoke. <laughs> this looks fun. This is Heise Sasaki. That that's him. <laughs> uh, here we got some Attack on Titan. Or is it? No, no wait, it's not. A, or no, 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 it's not. It's not. It's not something else. I just thought because of yeah, the, the skull, thing, yeah, yeah, that could seem skull have been. like Yu Yu Hakusho Kuruma Kuruma fan art. Hmm? Nice, solid. Here we got Sylvanus by Granola from Smite. Ah, it's a game. I remember that. I think Jontron made an ad for that at some point. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I only really know it from that. Zuko is finished now. Is he still hot, Echo? Oh yeah, I would say so. He he would uh, how you would say it? Uh, he would uh, be warm in this room. Oh, he would be welcome he, in this. He room. would be right in this room. Yeah, yeah. he'd fit With right in. Heat. Fit right in. Ooh, it's Ooh. really hot. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, here's the upright version of the one before. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what is this? Ario is done, done. Did it again. Oh, this. A is... sketch of Lau and Echo as Edward and Roy. This is, this is cool. Even with the uh, the current correct hair yeah, color. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> awesome. Wow, thank, thank you. you. I might change the the, the Twitter profile again. It's still <laughs> Halloween, but, <laughs> but being being Edward is cool. this is wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna give you all of those as well. That and I'm gonna give you weird looking Noctis. <laughs> Ah, here's some progress on the guy from Smite. Mm -hmm. And then we have this Shyla Moon. That's the last one from our Discord submissions. Nice. LOL Echo kennt Tegere nicht. 
No, I don't know what? a lot of. Th- I apparently I don't. I haven't recognized the camera a uh, mm. character, and therefore I. Yes, I do not uh, consume much anime manga. Mm. Maybe you've noticed. <laughs> Maybe you have. Um, okay, that's Discord. That's Discord. Um, so what you just saw was our Discord server. You can find the link in the video description. It's somewhere in there. Uh, you can join. It's our friendly little community here where we talk about all kinds of things, but also art. Um, next up it's Twitter, because typically Twitter we can handle fairly quickly, and there we go. Somebody really took some time to draw some hair here. I'm working on this piece of Nico D'Angelo right now. I'll post the finished version if I get to finish it today. Oh Ooh, yeah, that, that's like some detailed hair. Mm-hmm. Um, then we got more fan art. I'm pretty sure I don't know that character. I think it's from from the the Haiku. Ah, okay. He's the the oh, what's the name? Um, the owl. Okay. <laughs> the owl. Um. Here we got uh, that guy from Fate again. Nice job. Recently finished a watercolor fan art of Joker from Persona Five. I've never, I like for a long time now. I've I know so many play, good fan arts. I'm, yeah, and I've wanted to play some some Persona, but I've never gotten to it. Uh, to it. Also, like some some uh, games, anime, and stuff. Like I just know good art, and I, I like this as well. It's great. Punk Unicorn is always uh, proud of my Italian pronunciation. I'm doing nothing <laughs> here. Nothing. I, I'm just trying. Um. Yeah, this guy I know. This guy you know. Yeah, the, the god He's of war. He's gotten beardier. <laughs> he became Jesus. And... Oh, pardon me, I never learned what... How you actually... Burn, burns? Burns? Burns fan art? Well, here it is. Based on... What this. is it? Uh, the name is Bonds, oh. but with a strike through the O. Ah, okay. The Scandinavian O. Ah, okay. I, I thought you mean, meant, like, oh. I don't know, like, Mr. Burns. Oh, no, 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 it's not Mr. Burns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me refresh Instagram. So, the, basically, this is the cutoff time. Let me find the moment where we left off last time. Where did we leave off? Ah, oh, yeah, I remember we saw Mushu. We saw this one after that. I think this is where we need to keep going. And I already saw something that I know you're gonna enjoy. Um, here we are. Yes, I probably should play Persona 5. <laughs> it's probably amazing, but uh, right now I still got some golf to play. <laughs> uh, okay, can't remember her name for the life of me, but she's one of my favorite phases to draw for practice. Um, yeah, it's good. Nice. Oh yeah. I like, like the hair already. Mm-hmm. Got some good depth. Um, this gift for a happy birthday of my friend. Nice. That's also lovely. And here we got Hinata-chan. Hinata-chan. Hey, I know that with the eyes because we had a yes, friend Naruto. who cosplayed. Yeah. yeah, we had a friend who cosplayed her, so that's why I know that thing with the eyes. <laughs> she couldn't see anything. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> Ah, Bleach, some Byakuya Kuchiki. Oh yeah, the characters are also mm. cool. Like Bleach, I don't necessarily like the, like the yeah. drawing style, but I like the characters. Here's the thing with him. The thing he's got in his hair... You know when you go to like a, a food stand? <laughs> and I know what's and coming, yeah. Like, yeah, can I have a hot dog? Yeah, and then they put this hot dog into this little metal holder. Mm. That's that. Yeah. Can't tell me otherwise. It will probably happen in some OVA or... Uh, <laughs> For coma. That they store it for, for hot dogs. Here's some Kim, Pos- Kim Possible. Good one. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, oh, I love that show. Here's, look at this, a watercolor painting of Lava and cosplaying Ooh. Link. I hope I did him justice. Oh my god, that's that's awesome. I do think you did. Yeah, didn't expect that. That's, that's awesome. Can you please go into where you were sitting on that picture, on that photo? You don't want to know. I don't Give want us to. The I don't want to ruin the the the. the, the was illusion. it was it next to some fairy castle in in like deep into nature, like on a field or something in the woods? No. Or was it actually right next to civilization? Wait, wait. I can I can quickly draw that situation. Yes. It it, it looked in a way. Let's take. Oh, let's take this one. So you have a street. 
and then like a little sidewalk and then another street. So you have like very loads of cars going here. Um, yeah. So, yeah. so that's basically Main Street. Yeah, and then you have like a little, little sidewalk. Here's junk. So here's, here's a bicycle and stuff like that. And then trees come here and here's a wall. And they spray like graffiti, graffiti on yeah. it. Yeah. So, and then there's another tree here. And I was sitting right here. So everybody who drove by could <laughs> yeah. see you in your Lincoln yeah. cosplay. Yeah, I was looking down the street Sounds and quite that. comfortable. Yeah. And not awkward at all. What was. Oh my god. It was near to my home, so it was all right. But I, so yeah. people will recognize you. Just finished a uh, fan art for the song Black Suit by Super Junior. Try to be as close to the music video as possible. Nice. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, G Reminded Contact me Contact. of uh, of um, GTA. No way. <laughs> yeah, it's like the GTA uh, <laughs> covers. Uh, Chika Takami fan art submission. The character is Chika Takami from Love Life. Very uh, yeah. colorful. Nice. Done in paint tool side. Uh, done with line art. Time to paint. This is froppy. Apparently, this is froppy. <laughs> from, uh, from first, no hero. Yeah, I, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> The girl that's so awkward. Here we got a fan art for the Arcana. It's a work in progress. Already looking nice. Very angular. I like the white outlines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Finished up spontaneous fan art of Hozuki no Reitetsu. They are my favorite characters from the show. The oh, way I, I pronounce these names, you probably can't tell that I don't watch any of these shows. <laughs> yeah, but I, I have seen like the, the, the character. Mm. Like the, the, the horns it yeah. rings a bell probably seen cosplay of that that's a little girl from Angel's Egg rushed a bit through the background Grüße aus Zittau, Sachsen Grüße aus NRW <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I, I like it I like the dark colors surrounding the, the, the lighter figure mm -hmm. some nice contrast also like I just like this tone this bluish Yusuke Kitagawa from Persona 5 very rushed line art but still good yeah it's a nice blush yeah, on his face. Just if you just add a few more strands in the hand, it's totally fine. Um, going on, here we got Faith from Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Nice. I still haven't played Catalyst. Maybe yeah. Even if it's on sale at some point, I'm gonna go get into it. I would like to watch you play it. Yeah. Uh, you like the whole Is it on PlayStation 4? It must be, right? I am not sure. Not I'm gonna sure. look into it again to see when it's on sale, maybe. Um. Yeah, th thank you for reminding me that this game exists, because I really liked the first one. I know the second one got some shit reviews because it's, like, kind of forced open world, doesn't work that well, but if it's fun to run around, it's still cool. Um, okay, so the Scandinavian Ö is the same pronunciation as the German Ö. Oh. Yeah, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Björn. Björn. Yeah, this one we've had on Twitter, this one we've had before. I think we're in a... T yeah, I think this is where Instagram repeats, but we haven't had this Naruto yet. Or is it Boruto? No, it's not Naruto. No, it's not Naruto. Boruto has the soft, <laughs> soft, uh, soft hair. Spikes. Yeah, nice, nice. And yeah, this one again deserves to be seen. And yeah, this is where Instagram likes to repeat stuff. And this one is new. What a color Ushijima done during live on stream. Absolutely adore his work. Oh, this also looks nice. great. Nice. He's really enjoying that popsicle. Mm, I like the clothes. And there we are. That's the art submissions for today. Thank you all. This, this has been a pleasure. This, this was great. It was great. I like the, the theme fan art really got out the best of people today. Oh, yeah. Nice. So if yours wasn't in there, um, what I suggest everyone to do in general is check out the hashtag LavantFanArt on both Instagram and Twitter and also check out our Discord channel for those things. Because um, there's probably some stuff that I've missed because Instagram likes to skip stuff. For example, if you sub if you added the hashtag to an older picture, then you might have shown up all the way down if you had had scrolled down, which I didn't do because we need to move forward. Um, so, but really lovely, lovely artwork again today. This has been a lot of fun. Um, oh yeah, even and though I. I've Held under extreme pressure yeah. at some point because yeah. I also 
sometimes I just feel like I, I have to do something, but I also don't want to do as much that I have don't have to talk over it. So um, yeah, I just did the, the, the sky background um, mm -hmm. a bit. And yeah, again, like it's always you can use pencils for the transitions. Yeah, you got a quarter of the way there. Still, people got to see some of your Copic process, and you don't, you don't, you usually don't do much Copic, so it's yeah, it's a change I, of pace. I just, uh, yeah. Do you have questions? I, yeah, uh, do, let's do let's just round. turn this into a little bit of Q and A, yeah. and if you I, have questions, so I just I just put it here, so so you you get you get the image, and if you have questions on how what was done, how. Just feel free to ask. Mm -hmm. You'll just probably need to wait until your chat yeah. catches up, because... So now I'm reading, I'm... Yeah, this was like two minutes ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Or three minutes ago, even. But it will catch up at some point. And I got the current chat on okay. here. We can also check out what people in the Discord chat are saying, because they, they like to talk behind our backs. Because they know I'm not monitoring that chat. Oh yeah, it was CL from uh, Kuro Black Butler. Yeah, Black Butler. He has to dress as a he has yeah. to dress as a chick for one episode to catch a bad guy. Yeah, those manga they always find an excuse for a guy yeah. to dress to dress up in like. We we, we clothes. learned that today. <laughs> that Roy Mustang wears skirts. Yeah, Roy Mustang. What a cheeky little boy! <laughs> How old is he supposed to be in the anime? Like, I'm not sure. The early 30s maybe so you, you tell me when they're crushed yeah i think you might yeah i think it's about to start it's ah. about to catch up we're almost there yeah i think i think it caught up how much yeah how much time did you spend on the watercolor pieces one i see right now um, should be there yeah okay um so close up of the hair yeah, yeah, yeah. Long, wait, 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 let me, let me frame this. I have the luxury of being able to touch this hair. <laughs> um, Be so, jealous. Um, how much time do I spend on a watercolor piece? It uh, depends on this piece. It can be very long. Uh, like this one, um, this took probably a week for me because I had no idea at some points how to color those stuff. And I had to gather a lot of... Uh, reference photos for some parts I had haven't found one so this one like it's a mixture of two like a 3d rendering I had and then like a screenshot from the movie uh, the real life one and I haven't found anything about this automail that looked mm. good so I had to really come up with this shining so it probably doesn't make sense anyway so that took long but if you have it in mind already as you can see <laughs> it at least takes three hours at this point but with watercolor it's quicker because you can spill water um, what was the hardest yet Mavis ma most favorite piece you did I think still summer nights that was really like one of the it's it's an a3 size so it's this big and as you see as how I struggled with the face of coloring this it has like two faces it was horrible but I'm still proud of it because it yeah. worked and uh, it makes a good poster mm -hmm. okay okay <laughs> Are you going to do more workshops in the future? Um, I, I'll see. Um, I, I like to do those. Uh, usually, I, I've done so far, I think, four or something. Um, usually, I do. <clears throat> I did watercolor workshops. Um, so the next time, it's more or less just about pencil drawing and, and anatomy and stuff like that, and getting like uh, a general idea and stuff. But also most fun talk because I wasn't asked to do workshops in the first place. I was just asked to be there, but I thought like, well, what am I supposed to do there? Just standing and it's awkward since also like it's still a German town and it's not like lots of like, fans would show up. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm doing a workshop there out of fun and this is how it's supposed to be, I guess. And so I might do them more often, but also you, you need like a venue and stuff and like a place and then material and so not sure uh, how many people are willing to to, <laughs> to grant that in a way 
Because I know one time, like uh, one year ago, I had trouble finding uh, a place to do workshops for because uh, I needed to do them for a university and no one wanted to, to do that. So, uh, yeah. His hair looks really healthy. And the it's, all caps one underneath. It's it's totally damaged. I, I just straightened it so it looked a bit, but normally I look really like Albert Einstein. It's like I, I touched a, a, a plug. The socket, yeah. The socket, yeah. Uh, electrical Albert. Um, the real question is how long does it take to maintain that hair of yours, Lavan? How many hours a day? <laughs> I should probably do, <laughs> should do I more. should care more <laughs> about it, yeah. Um, Normally it's it's okay. So uh, I'm a bit lazy, but you don't really need that much. It's you bleach it, then it's yellow usually, um, no matter what you do, and then you take light um, lilac tone, directions, manic panic, whatever, uh, dilute it with um, some conditioner, put it in your hair, and then the yellow tint is gone, and you just need to refresh that every once in a while because the lilac will wash out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, it's not natural, obviously. Mm -hmm. I have a few white hair, and I'm 18. Yeah, I, this side <laughs> of my head uh, is naturally white. I don't know if I got scared as a kid or something, but that's... Whole right half. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, like I have a white stripe here. Ah, oh, that sounds like a cool band name. <laughs> no one that. did that. White Somebody stripe. should do that. Uh. I'm so glad I don't have to keep up with keeping my head blue. My hair, not my head. But I do miss it. I, I really have to say now looking in the cam ah oh, okay. You, you uh, can see the reflection of the of the pencil because I just thought like well I, I did this is black in my in my uh, thing but yeah. A good metal arm reference would be if you could find a pic of Bucky Barnes from Avengers. Good metal arm reference. Oh yeah, I, I've searched metal arm and I, I think it showed up, but mm. it doesn't look like this. Okay. You, okay. You, it's like muscle metal oh, in a way. Yeah, it's, okay. It has some stripes, but it, it wasn't working. I trust me. I, I searched whole Davian art for oh, this. I believe you. <laughs> Just somebody mentioned it. Mm. Do I have a preferred medium? Yeah, watercolor. I guess it, it's what I have done the most so far. For me, it's the one that connects me with my dead grandma. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Copic, I can so far, uh, in a way, connects me with my dad, because he gave me the first set, but, nah. Um, uh, Alright, I think, so, let's say, one last round, if you, if you have questions. Not only about my hair, but about <laughs> the drawing as well. I'm, yeah. I'm lucky. I'm, I'm happy you know what? that you. Next here. time we're just gonna stream your hair. We're just yeah. gonna go close up on your hair and do. I, 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 I can, I can, I can spill the tea. I have a, a beauty light. I bought ah, it recently. He bought a good light. So, so the ring where you rings in your eyes. Um, in order, uh, like, if if the occasion comes and I have to do like a video again in front of the camera. I got it, and maybe we can do a live stream just talking. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll do that. Because <laughs> sometimes, like, uh, again, I, I like to just show things sometimes, and it's not that easy if you have to work on a motive yeah. as well. So just having, like, a white piece of paper and explaining that might be mm -hmm. might be good. By the way, since this stream was all Copic markers, in his wonderful, wonderful art book, <laughs> Yeah, okay. We got a chapter, he's got a chapter, all about markers. It's it's all, like, this whole chapter is just Copic markers. Ah, I can show the the, oh, yeah, the, the, the most just, is. annoying painting. So, um, yeah, this is original size. This, yeah, this is the size it has. And it that, yeah. it's just the upper half. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that is, yeah. that's the full picture. That was the hardest one, because, like, again, this original size, I had to color the face quickly and stuff and that was uh horrible <laughs> so yeah but there's a video on it it doesn't have have has it has not that many views so it's on etsy <laughs> get it get it get it do you have a piercing i had one i had one right here um on the right side i made it myself don't do that it, it worked for me everything healthy and stuff but i had one um with a needle <laughs> Um, uh, the longer comment, sorry to put the same comment, starts with that. How do you choose the right color so quickly? 
I have to test it. Yeah, I, I test it as well sometimes. Uh, with markers, often I have a feeling of how they look. So skin tones, I don't have to test them as well uh, that, that often. But for example, if you want to have like a, a blonde that's slightly blonde, but yellow as well, and then check it before. And I do that. I didn't do, do it in the stream because I had the colors already selected. And I didn't need it to, um, didn't need to, but okay. Do you prefer warm or cool colors? I prefer warm ones. Um, do you have sad days when you're unsure of your future talent? Yes, I do. I do. Um, how do I deal with it? Work, probably. Just do, Work through do it. something. And yeah, that, that, that sometimes it's just a bad day. I noticed it like the, 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 a few days ago. I was very happy because I, I, uh, I found that I got like a job. Uh, major one and um, the day after I was so sad because all the endorphins got yeah wasted. now now you actually need to do the work you can't just yeah. be happy about the work yeah that that, that was <laughs> don't you feel bored of coloring the same piece twice um, no because I can't talk to you <laughs> yeah there's a whole different situation yeah. now yeah it's like totally like uh, normally if I would color it twice I mean I, I sometimes feel a bit bad for wasting markers um, but on the other hand like it's very interesting and to do that and also like having something where I actually know what I'm doing rather than when I do a live stream and I don't really have a clue um, it's it's like very soothing very relaxing at some point also like it's hot in here and so it's like a good thing to to have something that you already know. Um, Your accent is sexy. Oh, thank you. Then. I I, don't, I can't do it on purpose. I can just do, do the accent I have. <coughs> thank you. All right. Yeah. Okay. What what is it? So do you envision it before the drawing? I I usually do like something digitally. Uh, or it, it happened recently more often that I plan it digitally. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. I prefer Edward, just to... I prefer Alphonse, his <laughs> armors are cool. But he sounds like a little kid. Doesn't matter, he's a fucking armor, he's like six foot eight or something. Yeah. I wanted industrial too, as when I was younger. Um, but I think it's also like not very comfortable to sleep with it, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Which scanner would I use? Uh, a Canon one. Yeah. I don't, don't, yeah. don't, like... Pin me on the numbers. So for the scanner, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the scanner, like much. at home, uh, the scanner, I like it more than yours yeah. because it has more the the it's Space. more like less contrast. You Space, have okay. more okay. more uh, data to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also by Canon. It's yeah. MG something. I'm, I'm not sure. I just got a like brother laser yeah. multi thing, and it has a scanner. And, and the printer is uh, Canon IX9. It's something. right behind you. Yeah, but I what is it? IX6850. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Canon colors. Colors, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Seems like that's it. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Ooh, we want to go to sleep now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you very much for being here. Oh, you sound so tired. Thank you very much for, for staying here. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like like when you are going in a cafe and the and the, the waitress or waiter uh, comes and after you're done you 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 go you just go away but we can't go away we we here yeah we stay here <laughs> yeah it would be nice to, to change the location we're in because now I thinking of this room it's like okay this is where we just sat for three and a half hours in total heat yeah working technically and it's like okay maybe we can go outside I mean it's still warm. Oh, let's see. Maybe we'll go outside. Maybe we'll just fall asleep. Just open the windows. All right. So that was fun. Yeah. See you all. Uh, see, see you all, all next stream. And yeah. Stay tuned for more videos. Yeah. Also, even though I tell, tell it all the time. <laughs> Etsy, art book, originals, prints, all that stuff is available there. But he's also got a red bubble. Just check out the description. There are a lot of fun links. None of them are secret, but that doesn't make them any less special. So do check them out. <laughs> Yeah, and if you haven't, uh, if you haven't watched it like a few minutes or hours ago, if you want to see not safe for work stuff, I have a Tumblr, <laughs> but I don't use it. I, like the last post I did is uh, half a year ago. So mm -hmm. uh, just if you if you ever came across a censored work of mine, you can find it probably uncensored there. All right. Okay. 
Goodbye. This is Goodbye. It.